Yeah, I'm with Bobby. I don't argue guns with Europeans. That's just how I roll. Um, Caboose, congratulations on your caffeine addiction. Uh, <laughs> y O U apostrophe R E cat. I'll tolerate a lot of shit with uh, the various iterations of our code base in the Matrix, but I will not tolerate an improper usage of your and your. <clears throat> um, so what's the argument, non-binary? Is uh, $27 all, like, you know, European-y about, um, dude, cat, I'm... I may... I, dude, I think I'm just still tired. My brain has not booted up yet. I've been awake for... 57 minutes maybe and in that 57 minutes i got like 20 minutes of core workout done so i'm i'm like my brain is a little hazy at best i'm thinking it may end up being a game stream um oh well of course you guys do you just got you just got cucked out of them <laughs> I mean, it's like, we don't have guns in our culture. Y'all motherfucker did most of the development on guns for, like, a while. Yeah, like... Wait, where is $27 from? Is $27 Scottish? Because... I mean, if $27 is, like, fucking American and... Oh, Europeans don't have guns. Then, alright, fine, but... I think you'd know that. Uh, I got a milk foamer and uh, oh god! All right, get a milk foamer and use it uh, on your milk after you steam it. Perfect milk foam to pour into your espresso. Oh caboose, you and your coffee. Um, yeah, I I don't I don't argue guns with uh, with Europeans. Um, my general art, uh, my general uh, statement is just. If you have a magic wand where you can get rid of guns on a global scale, then feel free to wave that magic wand. I'm here for it. But until you have that magic wand, then we got like 400 million guns in a country with like, I'm sorry, we have like 380 million guns in a country with 330 million people. We've got bears, cougars, we've got fucking, like, wolves, we got, we've got, like, animal predators, we've got human predators, like, and we got a shit ton of guns, right? Like, if you got that magic wand, start waving, motherfucker, but if you don't, then just shut the fuck up about it, because, as Cupcake pointed out, Pandora's box is open. Yeah. <clears throat> like... Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Never even heard of it, Karina. Never even heard of it. <coughs> oh man, I am uh, not halfway decent core workout in though. <laughs> I was. It was kind of actually really nice. Um, because I, I was sort of like, I was still um half asleep when I was doing my core workout. I was like, oh, well, I'll do a, core, a quick core workout here. I'll put 20 minutes in um, and try and wake up, right? Get the, get the blood flow in, get that sort of thing. And I gotta tell you, it was actually kind of really nice. I, I just like went on autopilot for a bunch of it. Like I wasn't even struggling. It was just fucking just do the thing. And I was like half asleep going through motions. Um, and I just did, did the exercises. Um, it was actually kind of really nice. Hey, Viva. Uh, hey, Pookie. Uh, I need to download Stardew Valley and get that going. I want to scratch that Harvest Moon-esque itch. I, I, dude, I don't like games like that. Um, and um, I've tried Stardew Valley. I have tried Stardew Valley. Um, I think I got the, the dude. Um, I got the farm. I went into town. I came back to the farm. I planted some shit, and I was done. <laughs> that was basically it. I was like, and this game is over. Um, so, yeah, not my thing. But, 
Fair enough, cat. Fair enough. That sounds like me and XCOM. Every two years or so, I install XCOM, and then I remind myself why I always uninstall XCOM. I play, like, three to five missions, and I'm like, and I'm done. Fuck this game. Um. Now you... you uh, dude, fucking... I don't, like, look, I, I got his... I, I got... Dying Light's about to stetch, uh, step and fetch me out of uh, out of playing it too. I can only take so many fucking fetch quests. <laughs> chore chore sims are not my thing. Yeah, I, I I'm not into them. Um, Mmm, she's in cat. Hey! <laughs> Seriously? Oh, talk about a shitty way to go. Uh, Texas father gunned down in a Chuck E. Cheese parking lot while bringing in his daughter's birthday cake. Oh no, I still have fun with the primary game loop, Karina. Um, it's just I hate fucking fetch quests. <laughs> Um, the game has a lot of them. A uh, six-year-old daughter's birthday cake was bringing it in, got into apparently, reportedly got into an argument with another man who was driving a Ford. Um, officers who were stationed nearby said they then heard gunshots. There were, there were cops on scene and this motherfucker still ended up dead. All right. So this this explains like the the argument like the the cop argument right in a nutshell. Well, what are you gonna do if police are defunded? What the fuck do police do? The police were like literally there. The police were close enough to hear the gunshots. Motherfucker's still dead. Ain't shit they can do. So yeah, perfect for that argument. Faster, uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Um, Rev, same thing I do anyway. All right. Um, oh, that's fucking hilarious. The uh, KETK dot com Fox fifty one Texas channel, their webpage reporting this has a Google Maps location, like it's literally got Google Maps on it. For the location of the shooting. In case you want to visit that, that Chuck E. Cheese in particular. <laughs> uh, what town was it in? I didn't even notice. Oh, Humble, Bobby. Humble, Texas. So. Um. Oh. No, not Humboldt. Humble, as in, I am a humble servant of our Lord. H-U-M-B-L-E, humble. Um, oh yeah, Astral, um, there's an old um, Cracked video about why cops won't help you if you get stabbed. Um, yeah, not their job. Uh, nice, Wiz. I love all the crack videos. I do. Um, fucking, y'all see Massachusetts is out of uh, ICU beds? Yeah. Taxachusetts! Um, yeah. I think so, Caboose. I th yeah. <laughs> Resolution. Super cool. Um, one of the comments on uh, on it 
It's an interesting thing was um, as an EMT, this scenario has been dreaded, anticipated for weeks now. We show up to your house and transport you because you had a heart attack or stroke or fell off a ladder and hit your head. Or maybe you were in a car accident caused by a drunk driver or bad weather, maybe just bad luck. Where do we take you? Hospitals are full, no ICU beds. Here in upstate New York, we sometimes have to wait three to four hours outside the hospital with the patient in the ambulance because there's no beds in the ER. And while we're waiting, we can't respond to other calls that come in. People die in this scenario from injuries or medical issues that are treatable. And that makes us angry. Not sure who to blame. Government, anti-vaxxers, anti-maskers, businesses that, don't, businesses that don't enforce the rules. The list seems endless. But watching a patient die in the back of my ambulance 100 feet from the ER doors because there's no capacity to provide care is something that I really don't wish on anyone. Um... Yeah. Yeah. So Massachusetts officially out of ICU beds. Um, uh, their surge is, I saw, um, nope. Hospitalizations are now higher than in the summer on track with to meet high, uh, previous high given projections that peak is not for a few weeks. So, yeah. Uh, assistant professor of epidemiology at UMass Amherst. So good, good fucking, uh, good school, by the way. Um, total hospitalizations may turn out to be the same as we saw last winter, possibly even higher. So, yay! Uh,. Yeah, it's going to be um, a few states, a few hospital systems are really beginning to track um, the excess deaths properly. They're they're starting to parse between COVID, non-COVID. So uh, we'll actually have, um, we may actually have like statistics one of these days on how many people died because COVID filled up the, uh, the beds. So, that'll be an interesting number. Yeah, Crimson, that sounds like it. <laughs> oh. Did you see, um, did you see, uh, fucking... So far in Portland, it doesn't look like that. His healthcare access was trash in the summer, too. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, wait, what is... What am I getting tagged about? A group of Quebec influencers and reality show stars could be facing thousands of dollars in fines after a video sh surface showing them partying without masks on board a Sunwing flight from Montreal to Cancun. December 30th flight showed passengers ignoring public health measures, jumping and dancing in the aisle, vaping, and openly passing around a bottle of liquor on the plane. In one video, uh, in one video a person could be seen crowd surfing while the plane was in air. All right, look. I'm looking at some of the photos of this, this, this light. They, the whole plane looks like they're in on it. I'm not kidding you. I, I yeah, 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 it's, it's shit behavior. It's fucking blah, blah, blah. But I got to tell you, um, if I had an opportunity to crowd surf a plane mid flight, saying it looks like they had fun <laughs> it looked like they had fun um it, it's not like a fucking like a big fucking plane it doesn't look like there's a shit ton, there's, there's like shots down the aisle it does not look like there's anybody sitting there going this is terrible it looks like they have the whole fucking plane booked out uh this looks like this was a party flight and i gotta tell you it looks like they're assuming their own risk um the only people I feel sorry for are the, um, whatever we're calling them these days, flight attendants. 
I know, right, Cassie? If we're all gonna die, we might as well have some fun. Um, uh, cat. I don't think it's gonna be a general stroke. I think it's gonna be PTSD burnout. I think that we're just gonna notice one day that, like, holy shit, we just started losing fucking. We just started losing healthcare professionals, and nobody noticed. Yeah. Yeah, for two, I'm kind of, I'm kind of coming around to that, 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 that position. Like, eh, you know, fixing this. Let's just have some fun on the way down. <sighs> um, did everybody see Caleb Maupin con uh, con uh, um, compared himself to uh, Jesus Christ, Joan of Arc, and Harriet Tubman? <laughs> Not kidding you. <laughs> it's fucking great. Uh, the great heroes of human history are people like Jesus Christ, Joan of Arc, Harriet Tubman, and others who are brave enough to stand against the mob. Cancel culture and liberal social media uh, stuff is about trying to make people weak, unable to display this kind of courage. <laughs> uh... I, dude, commodity, I don't give a shit. Just tell me what people want to be called. I'll fucking call them it. But last I heard, it was flight attendant. I, I They don't really get called stewards or stewardesses over here. We've, we have we went to flight attendant or, like, in air fucking... I don't fucking know. Either way. Yeah, um... Fuck it. I love that. <laughs> he thinks he's Joan of Arc. Uh... Yeah, and Bobby flies like every three minutes, so apparently flight attendant is what's on the on the table. Um, uh, Mosh, dude, some of those statistics are actually getting interesting. There are real demographical shifts that are possible now because of COVID. It's fucking insane. Um, I don't, whatever. Uh... 20 to 30 percent um yeah of course that 20 to 30 percent are probably the ones who are like there for the paycheck anyway so i'm kind of okay with purging them i gotta tell you healthcare needs a revamp in this country anyway and there's too many people in healthcare that are just there there because it's a good living in an unsecure economy Healthcare has infinite growth potential as the older generations they're going to need Right? Those people need to go anyway. So. Um. Nice, Bobby. Um. Hey, Canadians. Y'all see that fucking Shark Tank asshole shit? The, uh. I don't know how much he's worth, millionaire or billionaire. I think he's a millionaire. Um, that Kevin O'Leary asshole, um, his wife apparently is the deal. Um, so I saw that headline. Apparently, Torontons are uh, not too uh, not too happy about it. Oh, Astro, you actually, you know what? I will, I will kick back on that. Um, traveling nurses are making bank right now in the U.S. They're making bank. Um, they are highly on demand. Dude, mercenaries, basically mercs. Um, we used to call them rotational or traveling nurses, um, but they're mercenaries. They're, they're nurses for hire. Um... And they are making bank right now. I've seen some of the, the comments and statements from my mom's extended nursing family, shall we call it. Um, yeah, they're doing great. They're going from location to location. If you've got no ties, if you were a nurse, and especially if you were a respiratory, a respiratory specialist... If you're a respiratory specialist during COVID and you are willing to travel, holy shit. I'm not kidding you. Some of them are pulling it in right now. It was impressive. Uh, I was like, well, it was about time y'all got paid. Uh, but yeah, they're doing fine. Um, 
contract work only, but one making a buck forty. Yeah, right now. Yeah, makes total sense. Um, so anyway, the Kevin Leary, Kevin O'Leary thing. Apparently, his wife, um, fucking. Apparently, he's one of those Shark Tank assholes. Um, his wife was like probably drunk, um, and was driving a boat that killed two people in Central Ontario, and she's been found not guilty. Yeah, it's amazing what money can do, isn't it? Uh, Cassie, I know some nurses who made banks during natural disasters here also. Yeah, like fucking, you're getting two and a half time and shit like that. Did her brakes fail? Yeah. Um, yeah, apparently, you know, apparently there was speculation that he was driving, but, uh, he was his significant investments in wine. So that tracks. All right. All right. <gasps> oh god here we go here i'll show you guys while we're while we're throwing some covid shade right and then this company buys them <laughs> jesus christ um this is an unvaccinated patient on what's called a rotoprone bed and on hypothermic protocols so they're keeping this patient's body temperature in the um subnormal range into what is technically hypothermic um and then what's called a rotoprone bed so they can rotate you around so you can minimize bed sores and pressure uh pressure ulcers um so this is this is what a uh, uh this is you know if you don't get vaccinated and the hospital you end up in is actually fairly well equipped this is um potentially your future some iron lung shit here if there ever was legitimately looks like an iron long it is um from what i understand the bed the company that makes these beds will not sell them they they lease them to hospitals for something like a thousand to two thousand dollars a day this bed is not this bed is super expensive it it is not a cheap piece of gear like they're yeah capitalism innovates um Prone bone porn genre just expanded. Um, yeah, so fun times, fun times, fun times. We're getting a Beavis and Butthead movie. 2022 per Mike judge paramount we're getting a Beavis and Butthead movie I'm here for it I'm here for it I want to see it I want to see what they do I want to see what like fucking I want to see what 2022 Beavis and Butthead reads like it's gonna be great it's going to be great. This is, dude, it's exactly what we need. It's exactly what we need. Beavis and Butthead were stupid. That's what we need. It's 2022. Look around. <laughs> Fucking look at what we just lived through for the past two, three years. It's it's time for Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. Remember, Mike Judge is the guy that gave us idiocracy. So, yeah, it's, it's time. There'll be, there'll be some interesting criticisms in there. Hey. Nice commodity. Yeah, I won't say it. I'm here for it. So anybody want to take bets? Um, Microsoft, Amex, Airbnb, and four other major companies have pledged not to donate to Republican election objectors in 2022. Um, so that was 12 hours ago. Anybody want to take bets on when we catch the first one of these assholes actually giving money to them? It's, uh... Oh, uh, okay. So it's Microsoft, Amex, Airbnb, BASF, Dow, Eversource Energy, and Lyft. 
<laughs> Everybody's on the show. They probably already have. Uh, what's the over under? <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rev. I, I miss the era of Beavis and Butthead. I do. Um, but I mean, I'll have to get those odds. Yep. Yep. Um, oh, did everybody see, uh, did anybody, well, did anybody, let alone everybody, did anybody see the BMW car at CES? Like, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. It's fucking cool as shit, man. What a prone bread. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's a thousand. Uh, it's thousand to two thousand. It's what I saw. I saw, I saw varying prices, but yeah, it's, it's leased to the hospitals per day. Um, I'm here for it. It's cool tech. Watch, th watch this car's paint. That's not like a, a chromic illusion. That that car just went from white to like gray. Nope, not thermal either. Um, the um the current speculation is it's probably an electronically controlled like e-ink it's like e-paper yeah astral got there it's like e-paper it's basically a, a layer of like clear coat over a layer of e-paper over a white paint job yeah so you can flip a switch run a current through it it's like an oled of sorts darkens everything damn hey cow um so yeah, I'm I, I'm I'm interested. It'd be an interesting piece of tech to see like how we can affect various things using it. <laughs> yep, be on the suspect. Uh, be on the lookout for a suspect driving a white black car. Um, also, given the like, I do. Yeah. Um, given the like nature of it, you could layer it because you can see that it's gray. It's not particularly black. It's gray because there's a white layer underneath this sort of like OLEDed um, layer. So, like, if you put that, like, if you didn't put quite as much on it and you put it over, like, orange or pink or something, right? Like, you could have various color combinations based off of that color shift. Oh, yeah, Cassidy. Dude, the cost of replacing that paint, that, that paint job? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a total. That's a total write-off, 100%. Uh... Oh, so for um, for those of you who weren't here last late last night, um, I started laughing hysterically when I read this headline. It was so stupid. It was so stupid. Um, George Floyd's niece, uh, age four, was shot in an attack on their family home after attending a protest um, in, to honor her uncle. Um, and Houston PD took four hours to show up. She's stabilized. She's alive. Um... She's alive and stabilized. She's still in the hospital. Um, her lung was punctured. Her liver was nicked. And four four ribs were broken. Um, but yes, um, George Floyd's four-year-old niece, she is expected to survive. Yep. Um, was And their apartment was targeted. The Houston PD, of course, has no idea as to motive or suspects. Um, it's not like they showed up anytime you know, near the shooting. Uh, but somebody tossed a bunch of rounds directly at their apartment. Yeah. Um, the fucking four year old girl got up out of her bed, uh, walked up to her dad, her father and said, daddy, I've been hit. I'm not kidding you. D his, her father was like, wait, what? And then saw the blood. Yeah. Four year old. I've been hit. Um, so yeah, somebody just like scatter shotted at their apartment. Yeah, I find that the darkest part. The fact that the four year old, Daddy, I've been hit. Like, 
That's a very interesting turn of phrase. Um, uh, <clears throat> I mean, to be fair, we used to build vehicles like that already, Karina. So it would just be a return to the old. Um, this is Florida in 1985. I'm not shitting you. This is Florida in 1985. Um, this religious nut job here holding the sign that says you're headed for hell um, is uh, doing so in response to the skimpy bathing suits, um, the, the bikinis, and the short, short trunks. Um, yeah, this is, this is Florida in 1985. Uh... Florida. These people make hell sound really appealing. Uh, Cause some people shoot in black and white cupcake. Phelps vibes. Ah, uh, torso's too short. Oh, everybody see the uh Uh, the fucking, uh, the, the loving pastor. What's this douchebag's name? Steve Anderson. Oh, this is, this is, this is solid work here. It's a minute 27. We'll probably ditch out before that, but. Hey, sit down, sit down. What are you, what are you coming up here to do? You want, you want to come take over the service? Uh, huh? The service. What, what do you want? What? I just want a prayer around. Get out of here. Can I, get, can I get a little grace? No, no you can't. No, you, you get out of here. Get him out of here. Drag this bozo out. Pull him out. Hey, help him out. Get him out. And you know what? Anybody wants to come up here and take over the service? We'll throw you out of here, buddy. This church is not a free-for-all. This isn't an open mic. This isn't a karaoke bar. Okay? I'm the man of God here. I meet the qualifications. I run this church. And if you don't like it, then get out. This is not some church where every first time visitor and brand new believer and people who've never even read the Bible are going to come up and take over the service. Not happening. Okay? If you want that kind of watered down leadership, go to some house church with your Amish buddies and sit around the coffee table with your coffee clatch. This is a New Testament church. We have a bishop here. We have an overseer here. Like it or lump it. And if you don't like it, feel free to get up and leave the service at any time. 50% of people walk out. I don't care. Because you know what? I'm not going to pastor a oneness cult. Amen. I'm not going to pastor a Pentecostal church. I'm the pastor of a Baptist church. Amen. And if you're not a Baptist, then get out. Amen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just the best of people. Just the best of people. Uh, <laughs> non binary. Oh, uh, yeah, he, he threw a little hissy fit and a half. And keep in mind, the all the guy was asking for was a prayer. Not kidding you. That's the guy walks up and he says, I just want to uh, just see if you could, if I could get a prayer. He asked for a prayer. That's it. The, 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 the spurning, the, the insult to his integrity was. Can I get a prayer? <clears throat> so. The pray pray stuff. Yeah, I thought so too, right? A resolution, but apparently not. What do I fucking know though, right? Um and speaking of 
adult children. Did anybody see the chick throw the, 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 like the screaming tantrum on the floor because there was a black person? I, this is, this is, this is, dude, this happened like today, apparently. This, this is, this is, dude, this is a, this is a grown ass woman. This is a grown ass woman. All right. This is like, this is like a person with bills and like, you know, uh, that sort of shit. Like, this is a grown ass woman. Strap in, strap in. And uh, keep in mind, it's because a black chick's filming her, but like somebody like posted the earlier clip. This, this woman tried to smack the, the black woman. She, she hand up and the camera came out. And so she got caught basically mid swing, almost assaulting a black person for existing. So this is what happens after she got caught being a cunt. Keep lying, saying I'm threatening you, so I'm recording to protect myself. Attacked me and try to say I attacked her. You cut. Yeah, look, look at this. Get away from me! Oh, y'all better get this lady. Get away oh. from me! You gonna? Yes. You're gonna get this. Get the security! Get the security! Get the security! Look at this. Yes, can y'all get, get her away from me? Get her away from me! Oh, have mercy! Get her! No, I got to just to attack myself. She's trying to attack me. No, no, no. Stop threatening me. See, and she's saying I'm threatening her. I'm not saying nothing to her. No. She's protect me. Once the law get here, who they going to believe? Her white ass or my black ass? No. I love her. It's fucking great. She's a grown ass adult. She's a person with bills and responsibilities and shit, y'all. God, I, love I it. gotta stop coming here. I thought this was a safe mall. <laughs> Children are legitimately more mature than that. Yeah, hundred percent. That that was just a hundred percent. Like. <clears throat> Damn, what's the other mall like? I imagine I could imagine shopping in a mall in 2022. Aren't malls dead yet? Didn't we kill those things off? I worked at an elementary school for a while. Kids would not have done that. I know, right? <laughs> nice resolution. He's on, you know. Um, <laughs> I know, right? Like, who the fucking goes to a mall? Um, new Manhattan DA, Alvin Bragg. We'll see what he does, but honestly, he's already kind of, he's kind of a cool dude. Um, he, he is the, he's a former federal prosecutor. He was just sworn in as Manhattan's for, uh, uh, first black DA. He's already instructed his staff 
we don't bother with fair beating. We don't bother with resisting arrest. We don't bother with non other nonviolent crimes. Um, we're uh, uh, there. We go. Um, he's uh, he's not going to pursue like the non felony charges that the uh, the the NYPD bring to him as harassment charges all the time. He's not going to bother with those. And he's already, uh, like the, he's already, the police union's already kick, uh, kicked up a stink. And he said, don't care. You can argue and yell all you want. We won't be pursuing those charges. Um, especially your resisting arrest charges. So, yeah. He's emboldening the criminal element to resist arrest and put New York City police officers and detectives in harm's way. And this dude basically just shrugs his shoulders. He's like, uh-huh. And? You got anything else? Uh... So, should be interested. Um, <laughs> constitutional originalist Ben Shapiro. Um, hey, Roble, Roble. Um, either way, welcome. Um, I don't actually watch twi uh, Twitch political streamers either. Um, Oh, Bobby, I wouldn't know. Dude, I've, I think I've been to the Las Vegas outlet twice, maybe. I've been there once for sure. For sure. But I, I no, I wouldn't know, Bobby. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't been there. Like, dude, it, I in the last time I was there was over a decade ago. <laughs> uh, apparently, um, this kind of news out of North Korea is always sketchy, so I'm always reticent to talk about it because we don't get decent details out of North Korea. It's all second, third, fourth, fifth hand, been passed through multiple translators. It's always an issue. But <clears throat> according to reports, Korean, North Korean officials have been demanding handwriting samples from thousands of Pyongyang uh, residents because graffiti appeared calling uh, Kim Jong-un a son of a bitch. So they're, they're literally going around, like, making people spray paint their fucking handwriting and shit to fucking <laughs> to see if they can't do a comparative analysis and track down who, who dared insult their beloved dear leader. Uh... Yeah, the resisting arrest thing is bullshit, Karina. It's absolute bullshit. You hear they wanted more missiles? Oh, well, we should definitely give them to them. Uh, Rev, it's 100% a pseudoscience. Speaking of assholes... Oh, God. Kim Jong-un is going to buy Melania's white hat because he's a good guy. Mm -hmm. 
but I'm going to point this out, Marcus, as you're well aware of your, yourself, Marcus, but uh, um, you can beat the rap, but you can't beat the ride. The charges may not stick, but you know full well um, that cops are more than happy to bust you on some bullshit, bogus, trumped up, resisting arrest and some other charge um, and ruin your weekend. So. Yeah. It is a very expensive hell, too. Yep, you're right, Marcus. And they're more than happy to kick your shit in, too, for free, actually. Actually, not even for free. I remember that one case of, um, was it the officer that um, they charged the guy for assaulting an officer because the officer broke his, like, knuckles on the guy's face from punching him? That was an insane story. I remember that one from a ways back. Um... Oh, okay. Yeah, Buddhist is good people. I don't I don't know Ray as well as I know Buddhist, but Buddhist is good people. So no worries. Um, thank you for the biddies. Um Ray comes around from time to time as well. But like I said, I know Buddhist way better. Um, we speak on a regular basis. So uh, but again, welcome and thank you for the biddies. Um, in fact, resisting arrest and escaping jail are both legal in Germany. It's one of the most fascinating, like, clauses that I find. Um, German legal structure allows for escape from jail. Um, they find it a natural human instinct to attempt to escape incarceration. Um, and they will put you back in jail, but they won't punish you for escaping. As long as you do it in a non-violent, like, you just sneak out of jail and you escape. It's not a punishable offense. It's a fascinating insight into human psychology uh astral th oh thank you for the gift subs astral uh who got them um cow got one fire got one and doomer got one nice oh thank you astral thank you kindly uh yeah it's called divorce just just get one can't make human expression illegal Resisting isn't only escaping. Okay. Yeah. Um, thank you, Mosh. <laughs> Mosh, are you familiar with these charges? Um, thank you for the follow, Casual. Yep, it's legal as long as you don't commit, like, ancillary crimes. Um, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting way of approaching it. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, Crimson helps to get a, a marriage going on that part on that rather than fucking just affording it. Yeah, uh, helps to get a, uh, a a perfectly legal and valid and real relationship going and establishing citizenship that way. <laughs> uh, understand amazing a system that understands criminals or people too. Fuck that. Fuck that. They're not fucking people. They fucking, yeah, Jesus Christ. I can't even do the shtick today. Uh. Mm. <laughs> oh, you see, uh. Yeah, yeah, nonsense, he did. He was gonna do a, a, a speech or some shit on, um, on January 6th, but he canceled it. Um, Zippy, thank you for the gift sub, Zippy. Um. Oh, apparently, we, we did a level one. We're working on a level two. Look at that. We're doing a capitalism. Um. I don't know, Caboose. Um. I have this resisting arrest thing, but we do have disrespecting an official, but must not be an ancillary. Oh. Too big to run. Sit my 300 pounds down and chuckle when they try to lift me. 
Did 10 years martial arts. I'm used to the grips and shit. Don't mind him. It's just funny to me at this point. Nice, Mosh. Uh, too bad. I can, um, I can, um, I can just be picked up and moved. <laughs> um, who doesn't have one? Hang on. Um, Zippy, 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 Zippy took care of nonsense. Um, dude, most, honestly, there's a lot of fucking subs here right now. Bobby's got one. Um, hey, tech support. I was going to suggest Anarchist Weasel, uh, Zippy. They're a newcomer to the community, but they come well accredited from Ray and, uh, and Buddhist. So, and th thank you for the biddies again, Weasel. Um, hey, yeah, some sense. Um, Turtle power. Oh, doing a capitalism. Yep. Fucking A. Oh, man. I think I'm going to B12. Give me a sec. I'm going to get a B12 tablet. <clears throat> oh, see? Level two. Oh. Congratulations, Weasel. You can thank Zippy. Thank you again, Zippy. Oh, they. God, my legs are still sore. Extra B12 in my system. Maybe help will wake up a little bit. Um. Oh, pff, thank you, Weasel. I don't know. Not a not a killing a uh, killing in a hood a hoodie. Kitten in a hoodie. Kitty in a hoodie. All right. Not a kitty in a hoodie. I don't know them off the top of my head. But anyway, thank you for the gifts, up, Weasel. Um. Dude, seriously, Rev, yeah, that's an easy one. My sister-in-law had an undiagnosed medical issue for a decade, moved to New York, uh, North Carolina. Her new doctor immediately identified as a B12 deficiency. Apparently, Arkansas hospitals kind of suck. Uh, fucking what'd you say? Oh. Uh, you hear about the guy who escaped from German jail and managed to complete a sentence outside of jail? What he did, he organized helicopter, paid for it in cash. Wait, I seem to remember this one, the helicopter. Uh, didn't use any violence, didn't cause any damage no, uh, to escape. He did steal it and didn't make his escape, therefore he didn't commit any crime. So they couldn't do anything to make him, uh, make him some more time. Yeah, hey, I, I respect it. I respect it. Um... Crimson, I know, right? And the, the lines to um, renounce your citizenship are like thousands deep or some shit right now. God Punk, thank you for the sub. Resub, seven months. Um, oh, thank you again, um, Zippy. Um, yeah, the line to like the, the, the paper uh, backup on renouncing your U.S. citizenship is deep right now. Um, it's basically impossible to renounce your U.S. citizenship at this time. Uh, you vape your B12. Interesting. Um, that would concern me a little bit. Ooh, Crimson. Yeah, that's not good. Mm. For twos, it costs a cut plus fees. Uh... Mosh. You're speaking to an American, right? Like, it's like, oh, our laws are bad. Don't try any funny stuff here. Like, homie. America. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. Uh... Uh, 
Uh, oh, Jesus. Got Ponk. Holy fuck. Five, five gift bomb on top of it. Um, fucking A. Um, who got it? Uh, Eli Pagano, Jank Jammer, Wither got one, E Composer got one, and no, oh, Six Foot got one. Um, got. Thank you, got. Thank you kindly, my man. Um, what level is that? What have we done? 85% of what? Level four. All right, so we did a level three capitalism. Um, Jelsey Brussels Airlines, dude, this is some sketchy ass shit. Brussels Airlines has been operating three thousand empty uh, flights this winter to avoid losing takeoff and landing rights at major airports. Um, the parent company is Lufthansa. Um, they have been operating eighteen thousand flights this winter um, that otherwise would have been canceled because of lack of passengers um, and all to maintain their takeoff rights at various airports. We're just flying planes around because of contractual requirements. These, these, these airports, like it's literally, there's just no point. It, it's, it, it happens every year cupcake. It's just a thing that happens every fucking year. The major airports have contract requirements for amounts of flights that have to be received to hold your slot, hold your priority slot in the airport for airlines. And if they don't meet them, then they lose their slot. So the airlines just run flights. It's just empty. They're just flying empty planes around because they have to. Yeah. Happens every, it happens all year, every year, basically. But this winter, it was particularly bad because of canceled flights and shit like that. Shh, nonsense. That'd be great. Ah. <sighs> Mosh. If I wanted to race track, I'd go to the Nürburgring. Uh, and uh, I'm pretty sure I know Hitler's not in power. <laughs> but capitalism! Uh, see, I know things about your country, Mosh. I know things about your country, Mosh. Um... <laughs> Oh. Oh, did you see that that twat Elizabeth Holmes got convicted? Um How why was that expensive? God, that's a small, easy, cheap book. Like what what I mean, Cupcake he for sure is. Um, but yeah, Elizabeth Holmes fucking twat got hit with a bunch of, uh, uh, fraud. Um, but here's the thing. Here's, um, um, here's, here's, here's the breakdown of the charges. Here's the, um, here's the fascinating part. She was found guilty on four counts, not guilty on three. Okay. Conspiracy to defraud investors, guilty. Wire fraud for the DeVos, uh, uh, Dev uh, DeVos family, 100 million, guilty. Wire fraud of Brian Grossman for 38 million, guilty. Wire fraud for former Kravath attorney Dan Mosley, 6 million, guilty. Conspiracy to defraud patients, not guilty. Wire fraud count for the patient Aaron Hot Tompkins who received bogus HIV results. Not guilty. Wire fraud for the patient Merrill K. Ellsworth who received bogus prostate cancer tests. Not guilty. Figure out the pattern yet? The only charges Elizabeth Holmes were found guilty on were the investors and the, the millionaire billionaire you fucked with them charges. The charges associated with patients and poor people, not guilty on all counts. Yeah. The rich do have class consciousness. They do. Yeah. And as Carlin pointed out so aptly years ago, it doesn't have to be a formal conspiracy. Like knows like. What's good for one rich person is generally good for another rich person. You don't need a formalized conspiracy. 
Hey, thank you. Level three hype train. We did a level three capitalism, y'all. Oh. Hey, fire. Wait, what? There we go. That was what I wanted to do. <sighs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Like if you don't know who Elizabeth Holmes is, she founded Theranos. She's the she's the uh she's the white bitch who faked the the deep voice. She used to talk like this to try and intimidate. I don't know what the fuck this was supposed to do. And she wore the black turtleneck and jeans because she was emulating Steve Jobs. She made claims that she, they they were going to be able to make some like revolutionary blood testing machine that could do all of the the clinical blood testing from like a single drop of your blood and then faked all of the test results in the machines and shit like that. Just completely fraud. Uh, complete fraud across the board um but was um lauded by all of fucking uh uh media and business and industry as oh she's gonna be the next billion trillion fucking quadrillionaire and fucking oh god um there Yeah, the reason they didn't take her seriously as resolution is because, frankly, she shouldn't have been taken seriously. Here, what's uh I've got you can get a clip of her real speaking voice. This is what happens when you work to change things and first they think you're crazy, then they fight you, and then all of a sudden you change the world. And um I I have to say I I, I personally was shocked to see that baritone voice. Was that fake too? According to uh my sources, uh it was uh and then, uh, back into it's a fraud. No, it hasn't. Well, here it is. No, it hasn't. Well, if I use traditional words to describe what we're doing, it's if I use no, it hasn't. Well, if I use traditional words to describe, no, it hasn't. If I use traditional words, yeah, like literally everything about her was fake. She 100% adopted Persona. She just ripped it from Steve Jobs. Like, it... Yeah. Part of the program had to reboot. Um... I, you know, but, yeah. Yeah, defraud millionaires and billionaires? Guilty. Defraud, like, send fake cancer and HIV results to poor people, not guilty. Conspiracy to defraud, defraud patients, not guilty, right? Fucking wire fraud for a millionaire, guilty, bitch. <laughs> Rev. Uh, little, little, do, pe people don't understand, um, that honest when you are a certified genius uh a an award committee comes around and award uh, and gives you your first black turtleneck um it is it is a part of the awarding pro recognition and awarding process of genius on this planet um and that's how elizabeth holmes got her turtleneck was the genius committee gave it to her same committee that gave steve jobs his true fact um, it's Mensa. Um, <clears throat> C 
Karina, it's because judges are a part of the system that protect class interests for capitalist owners. That's part of their job. It's just what they do. Um, <clears throat> oh, Jesus, got punk. I mean, Marcus, fuck the vocal coach who trained Margaret Thatcher. Hey, Aspen. Right? Like, if somebody gave vocal training to Margaret Thatcher and it caused her to be taken more seriously, fuck the vocal coach, too, while we're at it. Um... My grandfather's in Mensa. Ironically, he's also got dementia. Um, <clears throat> Kaz oh, did you? Did everybody see Kazakhstan is going at it? Um, Kazakhstan has kicked off protests, like the whole nine yards. Um, they shut down the internet. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, dude, Kazakhstan's kicking off. Yeah, they got the airport. <clears throat> dude, they're doing shit. They're making moves. The Kazakh um, protesters are making moves right now. We're gonna we're gonna see some shit. Nope, got punk. Don't know. We'll see. I don't think anything will happen, but I could be wrong. Crimson. Um, <laughs> Borat and Warpa on the Warpath. Uh, no, no. Um, yeah. If my yeah, Rev, it's that day. It's that day, Rev. We're fucking. Oh. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. So, we'll see. Oh, I'm just still trying to wake the fuck up. Oh. But thank you for even calling them guns. Once upon a time, they were pea shooters. Put a little bit of work into that this last year. Uh... Here's the um, here are the demands from the anti-austerity protests in Kazakhstan going on right now. Um, lower food prices. Lower fuel prices, lowering the pension age to 50, uh, 58, release those arrested, higher salaries for working class people, deletion of all branches of national companies, cancellation of waste collection. I don't even know what that's relevant of, uh, relevant for. Um, I'm sorry, uh, uh, um, resignation of the entire government, cancellation of toll roads for Kazakh vehicles, increase in min minimum pensions, increase in family allowances, and the president uh, must be, um, be the one meeting these political demands. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I think 
see, I think, okay, so it's listed just as cancellation of waste collection. I think it's in reference to a cancellation of the waste collection that occurred, but it's worded poorly as far as the English translation goes. Um, so I think it's, I think it's that it's, I think it's the reinstatement of, uh, of waste collection, but yeah. Waste collection like the poo trucks in Dubai. Apparently the tallest building in Dubai isn't attached to a sewer. God. Who fucking would design that? Uh, uh, yeah, Bobby, I do believe so. Uh, Kosovo has banned cryptocurrency mining outright. They've been having blackouts. Um... Um, it's not real. It's a meme. But it's a good meme. Yeah, right? Caboose knows where this came from. Right? You know? It's two year heartwarming. This two year old family couldn't have two year old's family couldn't afford his twenty thousand dollar electric wheelchair and their insurance company didn't cover it. So a high school robotics team burned down the insurer's headquarters. MIT senior prank. Dude, Astral, it's it's actually not. That's the terrifying part. Oh, let's see. Do I have pictures of the... Yeah. I think that's the building that burned. I think this is the building that the, the Kazakh um, protesters burned. Oh God, um, my stepfather has plenty of childhood friends that went to MIT. Uh, one of them was a dual PhD and like, this is just the bougie good old boy network, right? Like we all know guys of that. Um, I've been told numerous times that like, if I wanted to, if I had wanted to get into MIT, my calls could just be made. I'm like, yeah, like, I don't want to, I don't want to shoot myself. Dude, I don't need the I don't need an MIT workload, right? Um, a fucking community college at this point would be too much of a workload for me. Too lazy. Um, but we know a few of those people in our family, like dual PhD MIT uh, graduate students and shit like that, who went on to do stuff. Um, they're always special. They're always different, <laughs> for sure. Um, and it looks like the, um, <clears throat> the, it looks like the, the coalition that coalition, the dictators that fucking, um, run Kazakhstan, um, are calling in Russian aligned forces to help squash resistance as it were. So, yeah, looks like Russia is going to go in and try and stomp that out for Kazakhstan. The one guy I know that graduated in MIT killed himself. Dude, I'm telling you, it's it's a fucking, it's a thing. It's a thing. Uh, Russia is actively squashing proletariat uprising 
in Kazakhstan for the oligarchs. And you say Russia is based anti-imperialism. How is that based anti-imperialism again? Please help me out, class analysis. Explain how a proletariat uprising against their oligarchical masters being put down violently by an external militarized uh, force is is good for 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 the people. Hey, there's the CIA claim. God love it. Do you fuckers have anything other than fucking CIA? Jesus Christ. You are like the goddamn fucking Q and honors in the deep state shit. Fucking chemtrails. Gay frogs. Gay frogs. Burger King. Jesus, get a new fucking line, man. Just new material. Something. Say MI6 for once. Jesus Christ. It's so boring. Everything CIA. Fucking CIA. It's just CIA. Everything's the CIA. Oh, fucking A. I'm looking at this list of follows. Holy shit. Of course you just start yelling about the CIA. Fuck me. Thank you, Cupcake. I think, dude, I think Mao was propped up by the CIA. I, I think Mao was a, a CIA conspiracy. 100%. If you study your history, all the evidence is there. You just have to open the actual history books. Don't buy that fucking line that the, the big government of the CCP told you. Yeah. hundred Yeah, 100%. Mao was a CIA asset. Stalin colluded with the CIA. Hmm? 100%. All the evidence is there, people. You just have to do your own research. Yes, a resolution. Now you know why we're just fucking memeing at that point. <sighs> Bobby, you you missed the wink and the nod. Tanky starter pack for sure. Yeah, tanky starter pack. It, right, it just just keep poking at him, and the next thing you know, he'll start yelling about how our mothers should have been raped and we should have been aborted, and we'll just call it a day. Let's just speed run this class analysis and get to the end result, where you start yelling at us for being a, a leftoid, angloid, fucking imperialist cucks. And telling us how our mothers should have been raped and murdered and we should have been aborted and we're a waste of air, blah, 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 blah. Let's just do the tanky speed run and get the job, get the job done, right? Let's get it over with. We, we've seen this, we've seen this too many times at this point. You're too predictable. Your guys' fucking dialogue tree is hilariously pre uh, predictable. So, just... Either, either get the fuck out, get some new material, or get it over with. Either way. Uh, oh, I they're probably, like, we'll see. Probably jump ship. <laughs> Melody. Mm. <laughs> Cat said hot take Kosovo is Serbia. Um fucking um strike on Mayday. It looks like we may be trying to make that happen this year. Legitimately. Um it looks like there may be a workers' strike on Mayday. Which Eh. 
Interesting. Thanks, Bosh. Um, which, by the way, the the International Workers' Day that socialists and communists are so fond of claiming started by anarchists. Kicked off by anarchists. Okay? So, again, you're welcome, left. <sighs> right? Like, this is... It was all kicked off by the Haymarket Affair or the Haymarket Massacre. <clears throat> it's anarchists. We're the ones responsible for May Day. We're the ones responsible for International Workers' Day. We're the ones responsible for doing this shit as typical, as usual. Um, but, you know, the socialists and the communists jump on board afterwards and then claim it for their own and then kick the anarchists out, it, as is tradition. At least they just kicked us out of that one and didn't shoot us in the back of the head, as is tradition. So, but, you know, yeah, May Day strike this year. Um, legitimately looks like it's a May Day strike. Could be interesting. Could be interesting. <laughs> Your celebration of labor, our celebration of labor. Uh, insert uh, 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 astronaut meme here, right? Yeah. We're going to get Balkan in fighting in chat. <laughs> God damn it, Balkans. <laughs> when are you not a problem? <laughs> um. Uh, let's see. Now we just need to get a Greek to talk, shit talk the Turks and we can really get it going. Personally, I like to Tito runs for cover. Um, let's see. Didn't the Bolshevik Revolution start? Yeah, the October Revolution started in uh, uh, 1917. It went from 1917 to 1923. I was never good at dates, but I think it's 1917 to 1923. It's the, the October Revolution or the Bolshevik coup. Um... Jesus Christ, Viva. <laughs> uh, of Jesus Christ, I got called cringe on YouTube by an ML last week for mentioning Kronstadt. Yeah, I too would find it cringe if I brought up the, uh, uh, if it was brought up that like, okay, why are you, where's the actual like, sorry, I just got an email for, God, that's a fucking stupid email. Um, I too would find it cringe if, if I found out that the uh, my uh oh uh, my an my ideological ancestry was responsible for taking two thousand people out into the woods and shooting them because they wanted to be in control of their own labor. Yeah, that's super fucking cringe. God damn it. Uh That's just saying. All right, I'll hang on to that uh, mosh. Thank you. Oh, bitch. Oh. Then my further responses keep getting inexplicably deleted. Yeah, imagine that. Shocking how that works. Although to be fair, dude, YouTube comments. I, I people have commented shit. Like ANCAPs have commented on my like ANCAP series, but they lose their fucking minds. So they're um, 
their their comments get deleted automatically. Um, so like I I can't I can't quite figure out the YouTube comments system. Oh, Emma. Oh, for fuck's sake, who cares? Hey, Melon. I don't think I know who that is. Oh, oh, yeah, that's the, the niece. Yeah, we, we talked about that last night when the story broke. We talked about it again on this stream. But I don't I don't know that person's fucking name. I just know her as the four year old niece of George Floyd. Um, yeah, we already right past it. Um, yeah, Rev. I can't figure out the YouTube comment system either, and I fucking run a channel. Like for the life of me, it's like they're not held for review. Even they're just purged. Like I can't even get them. Sometimes I get like an email saying like this comment was left. And it's just gone by the time I get there. It's like, Jesus Christ. So, don't know. We can, but they're pretty, they're like, there's not that many options, Rev. Oh, of course it is, Melon. Yeah. Of course it is. They didn't just randomly shoot up one apartment in particular. I mean, that's, I think they think that was obvious, right? At least I hoped it was obvious. Like one apartment got hit. <laughs> They didn't spray the entire wall of the apartment complex. Of course it was targeted. What's up, monster? Oh, I don't go into YouTube comments for... Sh uh, like, I will read YouTube comments, but I don't participate in YouTube comments. Holy shit. That is... T who would want to participate in a YouTube comment section? I'm sorry. That's a nightmare scenario. Jesus Christ, that is a shit show. And again, I still maintain Twitter is the worst of humanity distilled. Which, by the way, got me called a, a, a secret uh, a secret fascist. That was one of the that was one of the charges leveled at me. Uh, that Kai is a secret fascist, and some of the evidence put forth was my statement that I maintain Twitter is the worst of humanity distilled. And that was that was part of the evidence. So, yeah. Secret fascist. Who was that? Who was that twat? I forget who that person was. If Alex was here, he'd remember. Oh, you guys all love this chart. Oh, I forget who. It was a whole fucking meme. We memed on it for ages. Um, Zippy. Hang on, let me try and find the memes. I think I pinned a bunch of them. Yeah, here. Um. Yeah. That was me driving one of the tanks. Um.
Yeah. It was all, um, it was all, um, fucking me getting called a secret fascist. Um, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> la, 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 la. Here we go. None of this is, uh, this is who it was. It was that Cyberheart person, whoever the fuck that one was. None of this is said to, t this was to Alex. This was to Lexi, right? None of this is said to try and convince you of anything, but rather to hopefully have you understand where I'm coming from and why I don't like or trust Kai. I don't even know who the fuck this person is. I understand that you're close to him and likely have a much different read, so this is all going to explain my thoughts on the matter. I've got to listen to my gut, after all. Um, I get all sorts of red flags with Kai. There's a variety of dog whistles he's used, not in his arguments, but when he's not arguing, going on in his opinions, he stated that words don't matter. They don't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Actions matter. Action ma actions matter. Reddit is the best of humanity. The full quote is, Reddit is the best and worst of humanity. Twitter is the worst of humanity to still, still stand by it. Still 100% stand by it. He's verbally supported known fascist Count Dankula. One, he's not a fascist. He's a libertarian individualist sort of territory. He's a fucking edgelord. He's an alt writer to some. Um, and as I said about him, he's funny 50% of the time. And I can separate an artist from their politics. Um, he's funny sometimes. That's what I said. Um, he said that the left should do a grift. Yes. Yes, the left should. The left should be more Machiavellian. They should be more grifter-like. Because the fact of the matter is, is that they get their fucking asses handed to them in a high hat constantly by the right because they constantly choose the high road. And it's like, well, we can't move. We get down to their level. If you get down to their level, maybe you'll win a fight or two, you losers. All of those ideas and more are ones which I either came to on my own or in my 20s or had learned from the alt-right by my early 30s. Anybody seeing the problem here? Anybody seeing the guilt-ridden consciousness? Uh, all of them are things that you use to convince me and others over to the alt-right. I'm sorry, but I think Kai is a secret fascist. And that's what my gut says. Even his general demeanor comes off as very sus. These things on their own probably wouldn't mean anything, but they add up and match up with so many things from my lived experience. These things unnerved me greatly. I'm not the sort of try and cancel people, even though this person went around in a whole bunch of leftist Twitch circles trying to cancel me. I'm not the sort to try and cancel people, though you are. I'm just one person in the end, so I'm not going to go around spreading this what I did anyway and it's all based on gut feelings but neither am I going to hang out in his space I do wish him well and I hope I'm wrong or that if I am right he realizes his errors something something all press is good press I know right um If you think Jimmy Dore is left. Yeah, like one fucking. All right. Yes. Yes. Um, secret fascist. Um. No, you know what the left gets when they get grifty? tech support you know what i will fight on this one i will fucking die on this hill you know what the left gets they get infiltrated police departments they get political actors they get people doing bad faith loan uh loan act applications in mass at banks they get actual disruption of the system they get disturbances of the military prison industrial complex by infiltration when the left gets grifty what actually happens is proper disruption of the system. That's what fucking happens. So, yeah. No, I will fucking die on this hill. We don't get Vosh. Vosh is the result of the fucking internet, not the left getting grifty. Right? To get fucking termini terminally online motherfuckers. Get your fucking heads out of the terminal online bullshit. Right? Look at the real fucking world. Look at the real results of when the actual left, not Jimmy Dore, 
the actual fucking left starts getting a little Machiavellian up in this bitch. Look at the historical fact. Look at the fucking 1880s to 1930s. Look what happens when the left actually gets their shit together, fucking says, you know what, maybe moralism is cringe as shit, and we need to get some work done. Fucking get some men in the Pinkertons. Get some men in the fucking congressional staff. Get some men in the fucking police department. Get some men in the fire department. Let's get some fucking intelligence on the ground, and let's fucking lie our asses off if we need to, because we need to infiltrate this system, because this is some bullshit. They have advantages on us across the board. Fucking... Chelsea Manning didn't fucking get that shit by fucking saying, oh, uh, and uh, didn't get all that information and release it to the public because they, uh, because Chelsea went, al- uh, didn't go along with the system and grift the shit out of it. Right? Like, that's what you gotta do sometimes. Sometimes you gotta fucking grift your ass off to beat the shit out of this system. And I'm sick of fucking moralizing from so-called leftists on the regular basis about, oh, fucking Vosh or fucking Destiny. You know what? Destiny's done more good shit for, for anybody else fucking than most online leftists have done. I'll fucking bite that bullet. I'm so sick of this over moralizing by the left. Jesus Christ, get the fucking win for once and then come talk to me. Until then, yeah. There, there's a classic fucking, um, uh, there's, there's a fucking classic Kai rant just off. I'll fucking, I'll die on that hill. I don't care. Dude, the left needs to learn how to win again. Destiny was proven to be a needle mover in Georgia after all. Yep. I, they always did some shit fucking you got all these fucking assholes talking about like insurrection and revolution on fucking twitch oh we need insurrectionary processes oh fucking revolution man the fucking revolution you won't survive the revolution you terminally online fucks jesus christ go get some skills that'll help you survive a revolution for once fucking constant online terminally online leftist spaces are constantly tankies especially tankies fucking especially running their fucking mouths off about revolution and insurrection and shit like that and the mean and meanwhile you're like uh i'm pretty sure i would hear you huff and puff if you went upstairs like i fuck this shit I'm I'm sick of hearing moralizing and fucking dreamy fucking LARPing shit. Pick up a fucking hammer and swing it without breaking a sweat for the first time in your life and then come talk to me. Otherwise, shut the fuck up. The revolution will not have Wi-Fi and gourmet coffee. Ugh. Well, the Zapatistas can supply the coffee, so we may have gourmet coffee. Probably won't have Wi-Fi, though. Um... For twos, please. I don't like my fat ass being called out in that fashion. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Zippy. I, well, I mean, it's just a, at fucking zero. Fuck off. <laughs> Grow some ovaries, right? I know. I, I'm I'm sick of fucking people who like. Talk a big game. Meanwhile, like, dude, I just... Fuck yes. Yeah. Def- uh, defense education and training at the Socialist Rifle Association. Yeah, go fucking join an SRA club and then come talk to me. Right? Like, I've got my t- time in on the range. I've got my time in the fucking trenches. I've got my time as a frontline organizer. I've got my time... Like, fucking... I'm, I'm... You know what pisses me off? I was thinking about this. I was thinking about this. What pisses me off as a former Occupy organizer, we fucked up big time. The first fucking time that any major Occupy uh, movement established, this is what we should have done. 500 people, right? 500 people. 10 groups of 50. 10 fucking uh, groups of 50 is all it would have taken. Do you know how much fucking chaos you can cause? Right? And not even like, I'm not talking brick throwing. I'm not talking fucking property damage. I'm talking actually fucking with the system for once. Everybody who comes out, 500 people. All right, I need a group of 50 with no criminal records. 
What? I need I'll, I need people with no criminal records who have spotless credit and shit like that. I need 50 of those people to come over here. All right, all y'all motherfuckers are going down to the police academy right now and we're filling out applications. All 50 of you will get at least one through. We'll get at least one through. Next group of 50. I need 50 people to go to the nearest Bank of America branch. We're going to line up all fucking day and we're going to fill out loan applications. What? You want to deny me my legally uh, uh, qualified loan application? You can deny a loan application, but you can't deny the right to fill out a loan application. 50 people lined up at the nearest Bank of America branch just shutting that shit down for a day, two days, three days, just a continual fucking stream of people. You don't even put a line out the door. You just strategically around the fucking corner. One, two, three. There's only two people ever at most in a bank branch doing business. Like what pisses me off most about fucking looking back at our Occupy organizing is that I didn't know the lessons by Sololinsky by heart then. I fucked up as an organizer. We didn't have a huge movement in Las Vegas, but I fucked up as an organizer. We should have been doing that shit. We didn't follow the teaching and tenets of Saul, the likes of Saul Alinsky. We didn't follow rules for radicals. We didn't infiltrate the system when we should have. Fucking, like, this is this is the shit that I am now... Now that I have the, the, like the theory, the experience, right? Like when I was back then, I was a fucking, I didn't have the theory. This is why I do, I respect people who fucking come from the streets and they know how to get shit done, but they don't know what necessarily needs doing. So like, yes, yeah, we should have been, we should have been fucking absolutely clogging up the system. tech support i wasn't thinking like a hacker i was thinking like an anarchist and by the way tech support i wasn't a social engineer i was a i was an old school code base hacker so infiltration and that sort of thing was not my fort it's actually pronounced fort f-o-r-t-e um a, a British pronunciation, F-O-R-T-E, meaning strong suit or strong point of defense, um, is pronounced fort. The Italian pr- uh, word F-O-R-T-E, pronounced forte, is used in musical notation and means to play loudly. Um, sorry, it's just a pet peeve. Um, fucking, yes, this this sort of shit pisses me off now because I see that missed opportunity. Do you, do you have any idea how difficult it is to disrupt um, a protest when there's 10 groups of 50 roaming the streets, right? Like the police can kettle 500 people. The police can't kettle 10 groups of 50. They can't handle it. We should have immediately used a distributed uh, uh, topology for organizing. We didn't. We coalesced. It was... Oh, God. Uh, Nonsense. I stopped getting AJ emails on the 24th of December. That was the last time I got an email from uh, from AJ. Um, I, dude, yeah. Yeah, I I think the left needs to start getting their shit together and accepting that uh, they need to play dirty. Yeah, they need to play dirty. Like, I'm... A little more Machiavellian. I'm not saying be Machiavellian. Just... A little more Machiavellianism, a little less moralizing, a little, a little more infiltration. But hey, what the fuck do I know? Dude, 
search Church of Scientology, 100%. We need to fucking crowdsource, um, uh, oh, um, fucking inside Scientology. All right, this is going to get, this is going to get a little fucked up because I do, our, I, I do believe this. I do advocate it. Um, dude, read inside Scientology and they will tell you exactly how you fucking take control. That crafty motherfucker created a religion in modern day America. Right? It, the only reason anybody believes half this shit is because it's fucking old as fuck. Um, we straight up harassment, blackmail, legal abuse. Like, they didn't give a shit. They got the job done. fucking <laughs> how, how do you know Rev's intentions are good? <laughs> how do you know that? You don't know Rev. Um, Jesus caboose. Yeah. Fucking. So Jeffrey Epstein was a human was, were, were his intentions good too? Like, you know his attentions are good because he's a human. Hitler was human. Stalin was human. Jeffrey Epstein was human. Fucking the Koch brothers are, uh, well, one is human. One is a rotting corpse. Um, one was human, right? The Sackler family, oh, responsible for the opioid edem epidemic. All human. This is, it seems like an odd qualifier. To, to say that you know someone's intentions are good just because they're human. There's a lot of shit human beings in the world. And uh, extending that benefit of, uh, benefit of the doubt is dangerous at best. He's a human corpse. Fair enough, Zippy. Yes. Dude, centrism, fucking enlightened centrism has been the death knell of so much shit. Oh, fair enough. Good to know. Um, yeah, and Amaris is right. To their point of view, their intentions were good too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I... Hey guys, we kind of want to commit genocide. Hey guys, genocide is bad. Wait, wait, everyone, everyone, let's find a compromise. Maybe a little genocide. Oh God, it's letter from a Birmingham jail. I fucking love that quote. I fucking love that quote. I must confess that over the past few years, I have been gravely disappointed with the white moderate. I have almost reached the regrettable conclusion that the Negro's great stumbling block in his stride toward freedom is not the white citizen's counselor or the Ku Klux Klanner, but the white moderate, who is more devoted to order than to justice, who prefers a negative peace, which is the absence of tension, to a positive peace, which is the presence of justice. Martin Luther King Jr., letter from a Birmingham jail. I know. Tech support. Just a little genocide? Can't we can't can't we have a little genocide as a treat sometimes? Dude, it's, it's centrism is about compromising with the worst of humanity. It's a nightmare scenario. It's like, hey, um, you don't compromise with fucking Nazis. And I'm not even talking about some like January 6th, I'm calling them Nazis. I'm saying real Nazis, by the way. I'm saying actual fucking Nazis, right? Like put yourself in World War II position, right? Let's compromise with Nazis. No, no, you don't do that. You, you, that's not a thing you do.
So, whatever. <laughs> they did. Wh who's that? I always forget that douchebag's name. Somebody who knows British history, knows this history better than I do. Who's the douchebag that fucking signed the treaty with the Nazis? The British sellout. Somebody will have his name. Chamberlain. Thank you. Fucking Chamberlain. Thank you. Thank you. God and Marcus both. Like <laughs> you see Marcus just like ah, Chamberlain. Um... I don't even know how to say that fucking name, Mosh. Pretty sure a lot of Europe tried to place interest with the Nazis, but my World War II world history isn't too brushed up. I, a lot of fucking people tried. How'd that work out? Um, I mean, yeah, Mosh. Um, yeah, how how did how did it work out? Fucking trying to find common ground with the Nazis. Did that go well for Europe? Any any amount of uh, destruction? That we should report on? Did he, any amount of backstabbing? Frackle! Frackle with the, the, the rare aired um, founder's badge. What's up, Frackle? Human rights, no exceptions. Um, rice, two fried eggs, tom tomato slices, and lemon slices. Interesting, Crimson. Oh. <laughs> yeah, how did some in the U.S. look at the Nazi regime? Oh, I don't know. They welcomed them with open arms in, in Madison Square Garden. Fucking. Munich Agreement was an agreement between France, Italy, uh, Nazi Germany, and Britain after Germany threatened the invasion of uh, Sudetenland in Czechoslovakia. The British and French prime ministers tried to get Hitler to agree not to use his military in the future in return for taking the land, including the Rhineland and others. After Hitler agreed, most people thought the agreement was a success, but Hitler invaded the rest of Czechoslovakia in 1939. So that worked. Tech support, I, yeah, I, I think it takes more, uh, uh, yes, yes, a healthy dose of social engineering and so much more tech support, so much more Machiavellianism, so much more willingness to grift and lie their asses off to get the job done. Uh, I, 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 I think you can, I think you can commit immoral unethical acts for a moral and ethical cause. I do believe that. I think you can lie your ass off. I think you can lie, cheat, and steal your way to good. I think you can. I, I, I really think you can. So. No. Um, social engineering is just lying your ass off. It's the uh, act like you belong stuff. Hey, it's the fucking. Yep, here it is. God, this is the creepiest fucking video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fucking get to it. This is in Madison Square Garden. These are Americans. That is a picture of George Washington. Okay. That is a German Nazi representative citing, uh, reciting the uh, U.S. Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, fucking A, the DuPonts and the bastard heir to the DuPont family. Night, uh, night, irresolution. That's why the Knicks always suck. <laughs>
Um, uh, GL. Yeah, I was going to point out you noticed the lack of under God before then. Um, what's your thoughts on those LQBT people? What about them gays? Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. What's y'all's opinions on them? That, that them, them queers. Them, 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 queer, them, them queer boys. Them, 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 them purty boys. Them, them with the bussy. That I, I, I regularly rub one out to. I mean, what? 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 GL, I'm not wearing one. Nice try, though. Nope, oh, wrong one entirely. I'll get you your points back, GL, though. I'll get everybody's points back. Uh, mod panel, mod panel. There you go. <clears throat> Uh, I don't know. Have my legs stopped being um, speckled? I did. I did uh, another laser treatment yesterday, and my red, my legs were all red and like irritated because the the laser levels are now pretty high when we do treatment. Um, but. Um, what do I do with the weird German curly beef jet? What's my pronunciation on that? Thank you, Hans George Mazden. Mazden, sir, sir, sir. Thank you. Uh, Mason, Mason. I don't know. Georg. <laughs> I'm gonna go with George. <laughs> What's up, Hans Georg? Um. Uh, you don't pronounce it because they're speaking foreign. Marcus with the correct American answer. Ah. Uh. <laughs> the B sounds like SS. Um, cat just compromised my keyboard. And for a lemon. Yeah, you know, kitty wants a lemon. Wait, what? Do we actually have some, what is going on here? I didn't notice. I wasn't paying attention. No fire, I don't, by the way. Um. Hans George asshole, got it, okay. Um. So what's the deal? Um, who, who is this? Platinum. 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 Congratulations, Platinum. I'm an ordained minister, and in my community, there's 30 ordained, 31 ordained ministers, actually. Um, and so, ooh, so, uh, Genesis 9, chapter 19, verses 1 through 11 is the tale of Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, yeah, that's, that's what that is. It, it, literally, he's just telling the tale of Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, fucking a. Should we read it? You want to read it? Fucking one. Uh, uh, not one through eleven. Here, I'll pull it up. Bible's crazy. Oh, let's do this. 
The two angels arrived at Sodom in the evening, and Lot was sitting in the gateway of the city. When he saw them, he got up to meet them and bowed down with his face to the ground. My lords, he said, please turn aside to your servant's house. You can wash your feet and spend the night and then go on your way early in the morning. One, angels don't have feet. Um, no, they answered, we will spend the night in the square. But he insisted so strongly that they do go with him and entered his house. He prepared a meal for them, baking bread without yeast, and they ate. Before they had gone to bed, all the men from every part of the city of Sodom, both young and old, surrounded the house. They called to Lot, where are the men who came to you tonight? Bring them out to us so that we can have sex with them. Lot went outside to meet them and shut the door behind him and said, No, my friends, don't do this wicked thing. Look, I have two daughters who have never slept with a man. Let them, let me bring them out to you, and you can do what you like with them. But don't do anything to these men, for they have come under the protection of my roof. Get out of our way, they replied. This fellow came here as a foreigner, and now he wants to play the judge. We'll treat you worse than them. They kept bringing pressure on Lot and moved forward to break the door. But then the men inside reached out and pulled Lot back into the house and shut the door. Then they struck the men who were at the door of the house, young and old with blindness, so that they could not find the door. So this is his, this is his morals. This, this is this person's morals, right? This is a, t this is, this is a tale of good. See, the, the, the men wanted to have sex with the extraterrestrials, right? Because they're angels, right? They're extraterrestrials. They're not of this earth. They are not of this terrestrial uh, world, right? They wanted to have sex with aliens. The fucking people of Sodom were like, holy shit, y'all got fucking aliens in there? And they're hot? Like, look at them. They're fucking like six foot five. They're fucking ripped. These guys, these guys are gorgeous. Let's have some hot, sweaty alien sex. And Lot, wanting to save the aliens all for himself, offered up his virgin underage daughters to be raped by the community. Yes, this this is his high watermark for moralism, everyone. This is his claim to why gays shouldn't exist. Oh, I love, I love Bible thumpers. I absolutely love Bible thumpers. Y'all are the craziest motherfuckers around. Oh. No, you don't. No, you don't. You would purge them if you had the chance. Uh, are angels non-binary? Well, let's look at what angels actually look like. Because I would say angels are non-binary for sure. Um... Here's, here's a, here's a, here's, here's a depiction of angels. <laughs> yep, that's a they of some sort. Their weed was pretty good. Definitely fuck the one out of the, uh, <laughs> fuck the one on the left. Uh, um, yeah, here's a good, here's a good fucking side by side. Cat, I mean, fucking seraphim are always weird. Let's see, hold on. Yeah, there's a seraphim.
Here's a seraphim. This is an angel. This is the seraphim are the protectors of the throne of God. So. Oh, are you looking for um like one of this shit, cat? Like something along these lines? Hey, platinum. Platinum. Um Ordained minister. You want to talk? Fucking, I don't mind disrespecting the Bible. Um, come on the air. Come on the air and have the discussion. Let's, let's have a theological discussion. It's been a while. I've been dealing with fucking tankies and fucking anti-vax chuds and idiots like that. I would love to have a theological discussion. It'd be a good change of pace for me. Come on, Pookie. Fucking proselytize. It's not like the Bible doesn't tell you not to do that. Oh, wait. Y'all will dox me. I'm good. Yeah, you're important enough to warrant our time doing that. Yeah. Perse persecution complex is real. Dude, it very much is. Oh, they're, dude, they're not getting on the air. They're not getting on the air. Their belief in God is not enough. It, wouldn't God protect you? If, if it's in God's plan for you to be doxxed, then that is God's will. Otherwise, you won't be. Won't God protect you? Isn't that how this works? Either it's in God's plan for you to be doxxed or it's not. There's nothing I can do to alter the will of God. Right? He's, he's omnipotent. God's plan has been written long before my existence. There's nothing my earthly body could possibly do. God can't control this world. Hmm, interesting. 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 Do Interesting to note. Interesting to note. I'll, I'll be sure to remember that for a little bit. Um... No, I think you are. Oh, God, weasel. If God is a man and he's omniscient, then he knows what it's like to suck a big fat dick. That is true. God, actually, if God is omniscient, God knows what it's like to be a, a femboy twink taking it in the ass. God knows that. God knows everything, right? God actually knows what it's like to have some distended, gaping asshole dripping for, uh, dripping with cum. Yeah. God is both a bottom and a top. God has been to subspace, yes. Yeah, God, God knows. God knows what it is. Yeah. God knows what it's like to get fucking just a train run on him. I love it. Anyway. 
since the uh, since the religious person is um, uh, too much of a coward, they don't have enough belief in their own God to actually have the conversation. They're they're afraid God can't protect them because God is weak and doesn't actually have control over the plane he created. Good, 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 good. Duly noted. So knowing if. if Knowing if that God is omnipo all knowing, he knows hentai porn. Oh yeah. Dude, God God basically is into tentacle porn. Yeah. The talk of God's gaping butthole seems to have scared them off. Aw, I can't <laughs> I can't imagine how that did it. Um Oh yeah. Flee before the European metalhead comes into Discord. <laughs> I need this t-shirt touched by, touched by Jesus fingered by God. God God knows Vorgor, God's gaping butthole. Now there's there's your band name. Dude, God's gaping butthole is a goddamn brilliant uh band name. <laughs> fucking we are God's gaping butthole. <laughs> yeah, no, that that's that fucking plays. That would work. I would I would go to a show featuring God's gaping butthole. That would be an amazing show. Uh that's where the Big Bang came from, God's butthole. <laughs> okay, you want our opinion? Look, I, I will address this once and uh, once and for all. Um, fucking platinum. You want our opinion on LGBTQ plus people? You want our opinion on the gays? Yeah, they're people just like you and me. And seeing as judgment is mine, saith the Lord, back the fuck off and give it up. Um, anyway, Big Bang Cosmology equals Cosmic Shard. Um, so who is this fucking, I may have to interrupt to go back and, um, uh, fucking, you know, drop the occasional elbow on, you know, genius Bible McGee here. Um, but who the fuck is this person and what, what, what do you, what is this? I mean, I was just mentioning him because we were, we were calling, uh, talking about enlightened centrism and he is like, um. You know the there was a second party that voted for Hitler, the uh, the Central Party. Okay, what, I mean, what were they I mean, called? Hitler. Central Party. Oh, okay. Do we noted? They they uh, they uh, uh, Hitler wasn't uh, Hitler NSDAP wasn't powerful enough, so the Central Party decided in good old Central fashion, if we just make a coalition with them and put a uh, put Hitler into a Kanzler, then he will show his incompetence and we will get rid of them. Oh, Jesus, that, that was a plan that worked out for, for sure. Yeah, that, that worked really great. And the, this party that, that uh, after the war became the CDU. Oh, shit. Are you fucking kidding me? No, 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 I'm not. I'm pretty sure it's CDU, okay. Central Party. All right, fucking, all right. That's an interesting rebrand if there ever was. The centrists that compromised with for uh, with Hitler in Nazi Germany is the CDU now. That that would be a thing. Uh, yeah, if you ever want to have fun with them, uh, just look up there. There are lists of people um, who got from the NSDAP into other parties. There are official lists. And like when you look at the first Bundeskanzler after the war, there's this guy standing behind him, his first advisor. And that and he was also one of those um Viva Viva who's also in Germany said forty percent of the NSDAP went to the CDU. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know Viva is from Germany too. And um it's very really funny. For example, they constantly go on about uh, the uh, RIF, the Red Army faction that we have had here in Germany. The terrorists, Marxist Leninist terrorists, and they killed and they killed this guy, um, the head of the uh, banks, uh, Hans Georg Schleier, or something like that. And they always leave out that they picked him because he was a member ex-member of the Waffen SS and became a banker after he took the, all the money off the Jews. And they picked him and 
and uh, uh, kidnapped him, then they uh, made uh, uh, then they made wanted stuff. They demanded stuff, and, and after they don't get, got it because uh, the uh, counselor said we are we are not negotiating with terrorists. Uh, uh, they killed him, and basically every anarchist in Germany was yeah okay. Are we supposed to cry for a wave Waffen SS man now? What's the deal? So yeah, uh, it's like oops. but but back to the topic. So and this union of Germany that's constantly going on about centrism, 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 and then the left is ex the same as as bad as the right. Has this guy Hans Georg Maaßen? He was the head of the uh, uh, central intelligence in Germany to protect the uh, our our way of the constitution, das Grundgesetz. And he's constantly, constantly now uh, buggering on about we, we have to move to the right, we have to talk to the AfD, they are just conservatives. Yeah, yeah, the guys with a with uh, uh, the uh, a court a court in Germany ruled you are allowed to call the AfD fascists because <laughs> they just got in a history professor and he said, yeah, these are the reasons, these are the similarities be between the AfD and f the fascists, and it's totally legit to call them uh, uh, fascists. Because they do do things like we have this um, this monument in Berlin commemorating the uh, people that were killed in the Holocaust, and he called that thing a shame <laughs> that that we put this in the heart of our nation. It's a shame because we put it in the heart of our nation, such a monument. And he's constantly going on and doing this Nazi talk, and now you have this ex intelligence guy in the central party that's constantly going on yeah we can't always do this extreme left thing we have to do about go back in the center and, and 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 talk to the right and talk to the nazis if we just talk to them and that's that's what that's what my biggest deal is and on the ground you can see that too in my, all my young years I, my Basically, as a disabled person, my start of politicalization was that we have Nazi parties here still in Germany. After we had so much, we have still Nazis, and I can't. Uh, when I was young, I couldn't figure out why. Nowadays, I can understand it, but it's still shit and. And the CDU always showed up when, it's ag when, when it is against l left, but never when it's against the right. Yeah. We had a guy in the city council that demanded in 2015 in Germany that's supposed to know better, according to every news source I ever read, and he demanded in the city council that he he gets a list of all Jews and her uh, uh, AIDS patients in uh, my city. He just said he's supposed to get that. He needs these lists. And uh, uh, and we still have that. And the CDU always always starts talking about extremism. That's why I hate this word so much. They always go on about the horseshoe theory. They can never just say Nazis are bad. They always, the next sentence is always, yeah, the left is the same bad. Yeah. Nazis are bad, but. Yeah. Always. Always. Yeah. It's like, how about you just this put a period after that and take a breather? <laughs> yeah. Fucking, um, uh, yeah, this is, th this is fucking, I can't believe this is still going on. Fucking dude, yeah. platinum, like legitimately either come on air, have the discussion with me and stop with the fucking cowardice bullshit. You'll dox oh. me fucking quit crying uh, like a bitch. Uh, either get on air and have the discussion or fuck off. 
he just said Nazis were socialists. Oh, Jesus. So, he's, okay, so um, he's functionally not, he's not with it, right? No, um, oh, did you, so, also, China, uh, China is communist, uh, North Korea is democratic, and the Nazis were socialists. Because if you call something it, it automatically is it. Just, just let me explain me that one way, the way it's called, uh, it's explained to our kids. So, Nazis are not stupid just because you call them that. Nazis know that people read things different. And when you look it up on pictures, there are 50% they, they put up those posters everywhere in towns. And, and one of the half had uh, had po had in big letters socialist and one had national big because they had one p half of posters to apply to the to the patriots and one to the leftists because they wanted all votes because Nazis don't care who votes for them because they just want power and so they have both both posters and when every every time you call Nazis socialists, you just got convinced by big letters, and that's a, as a as an adult, that's a bit shameful in my book. Just because something is wrote bigger or neon colors, that doesn't make it right. <laughs> I mean. Here's the genius part, right? Like um, the SPD, uh, the Communist Party and Social Social Democratic Party, right, uh, was banned in 1933 by by the fucking Nazis, right? Like the that entire like first they came for, dude. First they came for what was it the trade unionists, socialists, uh, fucking Jews, then me. Like there's a couple of different versions. There's a couple abbreviated ones. Like literally, what do you think the trade unionists were? Those were the syndicalists, right? That's that's fucking yeah. so, so leftism light. They fucking they literally outlawed the Nazis outlawed socialism in Germany. They outlawed they banned the socialist party. They outlawed it as a potential ideology. They execute they gassed and uh, they executed a shit ton of them. Um, they shot a lot of them. Um, the 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 only thing about uh, the socialist party. Uh, Social Democratic Party is that sadly all the good ones died, and after now it's nowadays after 1980 it became centrally it became another centrist party, and even before they 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 were once though they you can they have the only communist thing about them is that they constantly fall everyone in the back. Um, I need to look up. Uh, okay, hang on. How can you defend socialism and be an anarchist? Ha ha ha. Do you think me correcting your shit understanding of history is me defending socialism? Whether I was or um, whether I am or I am not, do you really think me pointing out the fact that you do not understand socialism, you don't understand Germany at the turn of the war, that you don't understand the Nazi party, you don't understand the linguistics involved, me pointing this out is me defending socialism in your mind. That's, that's fucking solid work there, killer. Pookie, you need to step up your game. You have a shit understanding of the Bible, a shit understanding of history, a shit understanding of politics. You need to, I don't know, maybe read something once in a while. And oh, also, while you're reading, study reading comprehension basics because you need to go back to like elementary school level reading comprehension if this is your level of understanding of this to these topics if you have read on them at all because the fact of the matter is is hey centralizing authoritarian structures not a fan of but also you know what i'm not a fan of fucking revisionist history assholes who, who sit there and go nazi germany was socialist <laughs> no yeah, and they weren't and I can for the SPD. I can uh, send you the Wikipedia link why they are really despised by the most real. I mean, that's a bit true, Scotsman, but by a lot of leftists, why the SPD is so despised by them. The Ruhr Red Army. There's uh, that's that's uh, 
Yeah. Doesn't need that much. Um, I don't want to mic up on someone who's condescending as fuck. No, you don't want to mic up because you'll get doxxed, remember? Right? We, or, or are your reasons shifting around now? Are you, are you, are you attempting to pivot now? <sighs> so it's both, bruh. All right. Well, then I will be perfectly well behaved. I'll be on my best behavior and I won't condescend you, nor will I do anything like, of, of the sort. I will not use ad hominem attacks. I won't use sarcastic tones of voice. I will be on my absolute best behavior and you can call me out for it at any time. So I'm guessing we won't be hearing from you, huh? Um, yeah, homie, you don't know the Bible worth a shit. You don't know German history worth a shit. You don't know political science worth a shit. I know Zippy, 54%. What are you going to do? <clears throat> Five bucks says he interrupts you and doesn't let you talk. Oh, fuck it. That's easy money, Cassidy. Tech support. Jesus Christ, you went for the new apostolic reformation tech support. Deep cut, but I appreciate it, tech. That's a that's that's a solid that's a solid cut. Um dude. It's been a while since I've heard. <laughs> oh, Marcus. Uh, well then, Platinum will be uh, uh, will be asking you to probably leave here shortly. So, <clears throat> oh, I'm muted. Why am I muted? <laughs> um. So. So. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you want to talk to platinum I, I can leave i well i mean i'm gonna dip out of the voice call here in a second anyway but i don't think i'm gonna end up on the call with platinum he's he's not gonna he's not gonna put up let's just put it that way yeah i mean i i sent you the uh i mean i can send you the post the red war army wikipedia thing in uh somewhere in the discord if you ever want to check it out it's not that important it's just the reason why we don't like the Oh, I mean, you don't like the centrists the same reason nobody else likes the centrists is because they're constantly cutting deals with genocidal nut jobs. So. Yeah, and even before they, still while they claim to be communists, they all already work with Nazis. That's the thing. No, oh, I mean, communists and Nazis got along just fine for a time. Just like capitalists and Nazis. Just like capitalists and communists. Just like fucking, I mean, Yeah. Authoritarian power structures like authoritarian power structures. They tend to work with one another. I won't argue with that. I I don't really mind. I mean, I got called. Uh, it was a tanky that told me that disabled people like me need to be aborted because uh, that lowers the pressure on the working class. Yeah, that sounds about right for tankies. They're constantly rolling out the abortion thing. Your mother should have been raped and you should have been aborted. It's like, oh, well, thank I you. Mean, I mean, I'm absolutely for abortion if you want to get one, but don't abort it just because it's disabled because only 2% of disabilities start at birth. So aborting a disabled baby you might still end up with one. It's just, if you don't want a disabled baby, don't become a parent at all because the chance is too high. Uh, but yeah, no. Um, yeah. Thanks, Mosh. Thanks for hanging out for a bit. Um, and I'm going to see, yeah. if, I can see if I can't reel this one in a little bit, but we'll see what happens. Um, if you yeah, have, have a good one, yeah, like, I guess. Likewise, what, uh, what time is it for you over there? It's gotta be like a weird time for Germany right now. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Jesus Christ. Did you get any sleep, Mosh? Um, to be fair, I, 
I was uh, I went to sleep already like Fair enough. at eight or something. I'm, I'm all just up that early. Fair enough. Um, well, I hope your day isn't too shite. <laughs> no, no, bit political, bit this and that. Nice. All right, man. Till next time. Yo. Bye. Bye. Um. Let's. Uh, oh, that'll happen there in a second. Um. Let's put the music back on. Am I on the last? Yeah, I'm on the last album. Ah, oh, centrist maybe in the bizarre world of the U.S. Two right wing parties. Um. Oh, yeah, libertarians co-opted the word libertarian. Uh, if you're in North America and you you hear the word libertarianism, what you're hearing is an inorganic bad faith um, co-opting of language. It's it's semantic uh, terrorism of a sort. Um, it was libertarianism, as it's come to be known in North America, is a right wing co-opt of a left wing word. If you say libertarian, um, anywhere else in the world once upon a time you it was straight up a synonym for anarchist um but anywhere else in the world they hear um liberal values enlightenment principles human rights uh equality and equity um these sorts of social programs mutual aid um free association like this 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 is what most people hear when they hear libertarian in north america when you hear libertarian what you hear is rank toxic individualism and anti-statism that's that's what you end up with so um yeah one gratify one gratifying aspect of our rise to some prominence is that for the first time in my memory we our side had captured a crucial word from the enemy libertarians had simply uh, been simply a polite word for left-wing anarchists that is for anti-property uh, anarch uh, anti-private property anarchists either of communist or syndicalist variety but now we had taken it over this quote is by murray rothbard right um Deja, uh, Deja, uh, oh God, uh, Deja, on uh, Deja, uh, Joseph Deja um, was the French ANCOM, um, who was the first one to describe himself as a libertarian in a political sense, and um, of course Proudhon was the first one to use anarchist in that sort of political sense. Um, so, yeah. Friends, I brought pri I brought pitforks, uh, pitchforks, liberté, égalité, fraternité. Hey, big Ben. Homophobes to gulag. Cool. Timed out. Ten minutes. Uh, Thirty thousand points spent by Cupcake to uh, send the homophobe to a gulag. Apparently, um, that just that just occurred. Uh, <laughs> and never mind. Um, Eight-year-old uranium miners buying crystal meth with Bitcoin. That's ANCAP stuff. 100%. Yep. Oh, fucking ANCAPs. Oh, I'd like to know your take on COVID. You know, this is crazy. I know this is going to be a hot take. So everybody like strap in. I'm not pro COVID. In fact, you know what? The more I hear about COVID, I don't think it's a very good thing. But, you know, I, I, maybe I'm going to get canceled for that. It's just my take, though. It's just my take. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm anti COVID. I don't know. It's a pretty unpopular opinion these days. I feel pretty persecuted. Yeah.
You, a burger man. You do realize that the left wing isn't all completely like anti-authoritarian, like, you know, uh, shifted on the libertarian axis, right? Elite fucking, you do understand that? Like the left wing isn't like a monolith. Oh no. Are you a verophobe? Huh? <gasps> uh, <laughs> uh, You didn't ask. You weren't alluding to shit. You asked for my opinion on COVID. Straight up. I'd like to know your take on COVID. You added no qualifiers, no nuance, no detail whatsoever to your poorly formed uh, prompt. So yeah, I memed on it. Fucking sorry I didn't live up to your Norm McDonald levels of expectation though. pop his chat oh are you a fucking are you one of those see this is i don't i don't pay attention to these fucking names i don't remember you fucking people like oh he's an ancap oh he's an ancap oh yeah okay well i don't interact with ancaps yeah 100 percent, 100 percent ancap yeah. Yeah. So take your Austrian economics and your Rothbardian philosophies and fuck off somewhere else. We don't put up with that shit around these parts. You're a fake anarchist at best. At worst, you're a bad faith inorganic actor from the alt right who's attempting to infiltrate left wing spaces and use our uh, our semantics for political cover for your shit slave owning positions. Fuck off. And there's the fuck and caps playlist. Um, feel free to give it a good listen. There's there's 12 plus hours of material dissecting your entire ideology, philosophy, uh, philosophical underpinnings, economic underpinnings, and the bad faith maneuverings by the likes of Nozick and Rothbard um, on part of your uh, sad excuse for a well. <sighs> slavery uh, debt slave uh, ideology. Yeah. So anyway, good, good call. Whoever told me to pop out the history. Oh, uh, what do we got? What do we got for twos? Ah, yes. The unmasked, unvaxxed, and non-distancing people threaten your health. According to the NAP, you're allowed to mace them. Yep. Um, Anti-vaxxers, anti-maskers, and non-distancers are violating the NAP. And as such, can be treated as such under their own philosophy. That is self-consistent, yes. Uh, I had an ANCAP tell me before that it's perfectly fine to create a super virus in a lab and then threaten to release it if people don't give you everything you want because you don't violate the NAP until you release it. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, Melody, that sounds exactly like what a fucking uh, 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 non-aggression principle, Zippy, in, in, is an idea. It's a solid idea. It's a, it's a halfway decent idea. It's a decent idea. Like, you don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with you. Right? That's That's the foundation of the NAP. But the fact of the matter is, is that ANCAPs who are so fond of the NAP don't see wage slavery or private property as theft as a form of aggression. They don't see the uh, capitalist capture of an entire legal structure or uh, societal structure as aggression. So 
at f- fundamentally the uh, the fucking ANCAPs don't even follow their own NAP, but they love to scream about the NAP when somebody finally teaches their little fucking neo Nazi asses a thing or two. So, yeah, little eugenic psychopaths. Oh, by the way, most most of the fucking ANCAP, uh, um, the ANCAPs of history, dude, they're a recent development. Uh, most of the ANCAPs of history were pro eugenics too. By the way. Pro-slavery, pro-eugenics, pro, uh, pro-child labor, um, child workhouses, that sort of thing. Oh, they're just some of the best people. Um, I don't know, Ben. Maybe, maybe not. If it was really big, maybe not. Uh... But I, like I said, um, they're not even, they're fucking, I don't even see they're corporate feudalists, weasel. They're just neo-feudalists. They're just feudalists of a, of a modern era. That's all. It's feudalism. They want the Lord on the manor, except that they, they want, Joe, they want Joe Biden. They just want Joe Biden to be fucking Elon Musk instead. They want the Lord of the manor. They want the person in charge. They just want it to be a moneyed person. That's all. That's all they want. They want the rich guy to be in charge. It's, it's. Oh, my, oh, my soul to the company's store. <clears throat> yeah. They're, they're, they're half assing it. Um, fucking ANCAPs are just like, oh, the state, the state, the state. Meanwhile, can we recreate the state, but with capitalist tendencies instead? Right? Like, uh, oh, how are you going to enforce that? Well, we'll need private armies. Oh, interesting. You'll need private police forces and private armies. Yeah. Well, what about the legal structure? Well, that's going to be a series of adjudications handled by independent, uh, judiciaries that are, you know, privatized and paid for. Oh, so you're recreating the court system too while you're at it. Okay. So what am I, how are you going to deal with that if some, oh, so you, you just, you're recreating the entirety of the state, just privatized? Oh, great. So you're just recreating oppressive and coercive hierarchical structures? Oh yeah, definitely anarchists. Definitely anarchists. Jesus Christ. So I have a question for you in chat. Been reading about surveillance capitalism, the internet of things and blockchain tech, not focusing on crypto with the recent story on glue doing big data outreach for churches and big religion. Do we or anyone, uh, anyone know anything or anyone who's doing tech savvy research and stuff with Marxist intent? Uh, big Ben, I don't do any, I don't work with people who have Marxist intent. I'll tell you that right now. Um, so yeah. Uh, Rev, uh, the Internet of Things is like your toaster that's connected to the Internet, your uh, dryer that's connected to the Internet, your uh, dishwasher that's connected to the Internet, your garage door opener that's connected to the Internet, that tracking tag that's connected. Yes, that's the Internet of Things. Um, yeah, we don't interact with fucking ANCAPs. You guys are bad faith, inorganic actors who attempt to use bad faith argumentation to enter spaces where you're not welcome. Your entire ideology and philosophy is built upon a car, a house of lies and, and sleight of hand per Rothbard's own admission, right? Fucking whether we go back to Mises or Hayek or we end up talking about Rothbard or Nozick or Hoppe, it doesn't fucking matter. Hoppe is a fucking ethno-nationalist. He's a fucking white supremacist for fuck's sake. He's literally advocated for fascism and ethno-nationalism. Rothbard had no problem with race realism. Do we even need to talk about the nightmare human being that was Ayn Rand? Dude, von Mises and Hayek don't even believe in empiricism. And this is the economic foundation for, uh, for your ideology. It's fucking ridiculous. Get the fuck out of here. Um... Ben, um, there's some, um, 
there's like some distributed autonomous organizational stuff that's being done um, using blockchain that definitely could be applicable within leftist spaces. Um, it's still questionable technologies at its outset, but I would look at the DAO scene um, and keep a, keep an eye on them, Ben. Um, most of the interesting um, stuff, as far as I'm concerned, operates in the sort of like OPSEC region uh, rather than the, the sort of like organizational region. Um, which blockchain operates more in the organizational region than the OPSEC region. I'm more interested in things like um, isolated, secured, uh, peer-secured uh, peer networks, such as like I2P, um, than I am blockchain technologies. As far as securing the internet and securing communications and sort of the future of interpersonal relations on the internet, um, I'm looking presently at a, a, a trio of technologies for communi secure communications. Um, that's, that's where my focus lies. Um, so admittedly, I don't pay much attention, but the DAO stuff, uh, the distributed autonomous organizational stuff is interesting. Um, that at least is an area that I could see it being super fucking useful. Um, as far as like, um, organizing and voting on those sorts of stuff. Um, so I would keep an eye there, but I don't know anyone in particular, Ben, nor do I know any groups in particular, um, that I would deal with. Oh, burger. How's uh, how's India doing, burger? What's what's the topic of the day in India right now? How y'all doing? Yeah, that's not my field, Ben, but I'll definitely keep an eye on it. Um, third wave and political rallies going full maskless. Um, interesting. Jesus Christ. I bet it's Modi's rallies too, isn't it? Is it Mo? Who else? Who else is it? It's it's. it's uh, it's fucking Modi's rallies, uh, and who else are doing full maskless? Are they all going full maskless, Burger? Because I could see the fucking Hindu national. Of course it's Modi. Of course it's fucking Modi. Of course it's Modi. <laughs> fucking those Hindu nationalists are. A, they're an interesting lot. They're an interesting lot for sure. Jesus Christ. Uh. I have opinions about Modi. What uh what are the what's the BJP looking like these days, Burger? Are they how are they how are the how are they how's the BJP gonna hold up in elections? Is Modi gonna win it again? Is the party gonna win it again? They burn some Christmas celebrations in parts of churches. Oh, BJP, when are you ever going to fucking not? <laughs> Hindu nationalist, man. Hindu nationalist. Look like you might win, but with a smaller majority. Uh, progress? Uh, Jesus Christ. Now, good luck, burger. Opposition sucks. Hmm. Can't imagine why. It's probably controlled opposition even. Cite your sources, Naptown, or shut the fuck up. Uh, 
Um, interesting. Even your leftist friends in the Indian government have been taken in by Modi's cult of personality. <laughs> uh, how, how am I supposed to say that? Hodega? Hey, pull it a twink. But, um, Hodega? Shut the fuck up, pussy. So you have no sources then? I, I take it? No. No actual source on that one. Uh, it's got... Oh, good night, Got. Sleep well. Catch you later. Enjoy your music, Got. <laughs> Far buffer. <laughs> All right, Tech. All right. I see what you're working with, Tech. Yes. Yes. Food Not Bombs just won their federal lawsuit against the city of Fort Lauderdale. Settlement and payment for legal fees. Um, the city tried to ban food sharing in parks. And after seven fucking years of court cases, Food Not Bombs Fort Lauderdale has won. Um, it's, it's their second appeal of the lawsuit. Um, but it will create precedent. Uh, it took seven years, but food, uh, Fort Lauderdale's Food Not Bombs Federal Civil La uh, Liberties lawsuit against Fort Lauderdale for banning food sharing is finally concluding. We won our second appeal in August of 2021. The city has now accepted a settlement that admits they were wrong to enforce the park rule against us and will have to pay an amount of damages. They will also have to pay our lawyers a great deal more. The results are on top of the victories this lawsuit already accomplished in years prior. Um, 2018 appeal rule, a ruling that ruled that the original sharing ban law was unconstitutional, creating a strongly worded precedent about sharing food as protected free speech. So anyways, we would like to say, fuck yeah. We had to bite our tongues a lot over the years to see how this would play out, but no more. We outlived and outmaneuvered the old mayor, city manager, and city attorney who are all intent on policing us and the homeless out of existence. Fuck them. Let's not forget multiple FLPD chiefs and captains who sent their goons to stalk and arrest us. All gone now. Nuts to all the narrow-minded fools who wanted to be rid of us. And while we struggled to keep FNB going, we did so much more along the way. Actions, workshops, fundraisers, and so more. We're honored to have an impact in the courts and the streets over the years. Um... One downside to running such a long campaign was our friends that didn't live to see the end. Present our dear friend and volunteer David Bambi Hitchcock and Gonzalo Vizcardo, also a volunteer from a long time ago, and supporters Sylvie, Bob, Bender, Jack Lieberman, and Daniel. We deeply appreciate contributions of all volunteers and allies over the years. Thanks to our attorney, thanks to our lawyer, Mara Schlackman, perhaps the only person who could have even made any of this possible, and Kirsten Anderson, Andrea Costello, and Jody Siegel of Southern Legal Counsel. For all the other food not bombs, y'all uh, y'all are going to accomplish great things. Don't give up. Finally, we'd like to say let's fuck shit up in 2022. Everything's scary and nothing's going to change unless we make it. The people are hungry. All this says is that you should be using a medical grade mask. That yeah, your cloth mask is is not a medical grade mask and you should be wearing one. So what you're advocating here for is the inclusion and the usage of medical grade masks instead. Okay, cool. Everybody, let's upgrade to medical grade masks. Um Oh, they get timed out.
which the CDC has had as their position for a while now, even before Omicron became a problem. Looks at the headline, doesn't bother to look deeper into it. They do their reading comprehension is always amazing. Our state's telling people to go to N95. Yeah. Link in shared content. Wait, what? All right, hey level. Um, what kind of vibes are Wednesday kind of vibes? Um, angry, violent tankies, COVID denying chuds, uh, religious nut job, Bible thumpers. Um, it's been a stream level. It's been a stream so far. Uh, the Lawrence Southern School of Research, only reading headlines. Um, also, facial hair eliminates N95 effectiveness. Dude, facial hair. Um, yeah. No, I do not, Burger. No, I do not. Um, oh, okay. All right. I see what you're, you're asking. I'm like, what are you? What are you fucking asking me? <laughs> Uh, yeah, here, um, sh shared content. There you go. Tech support. Thank you for the gift sub tech support. Congratulations level. Um, damn, I just grew out this beard. <laughs> it did caboose. Damn it. I just grew out this bear. Um, caboose out in the backyard growing bears. Fourth resident of the village is arrested for casting multiple ballots. A look, an old white, uh, an old white man who was voting for Trump committed uh, election fraud. He's the fourth one. Hmm. Interesting. Holy shit. At there we go. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That villages crimson that villages. Cricks, you live in Alaska. There's like four people there. It's easy for you to avoid people. Swede posted um, a brand new eBay, brand new Gigabyte Aeris uh, GeForce RTX 3080 Extreme fucking graphics card to eBay link in, uh, in uh, shared content uh, and said uh, to buy or not to buy. That is the question. It's fucking fifteen hundred and eighty dollars. I told I responded. I said at that price point, they better give me a rim job, too. Christ, $1,580 for a fucking graphics card. Nice. Nice, Odega. Well, I'm glad it's... I'm glad it broke. Jesus, Rev, you saved it. You saved one of those fucking, oh my God, Rev. 
Um. Can you see a? Uh, could you see Russia? Oh, yeah. Ah, you will find it. Rob five hundred MSRP, dude. Honestly, the fucking dude, the crypto idiots and the the supply chain issues. Causing the graphics card to be graphics cards to be priced as they are, honestly, just ugh. Uh, ten minutes, cupcake. Ten minutes. Uh, Starbucks. Uh, Starbucks worker um, walkout in Buffalo. Um, they cited safety concerns over COVID. So, uh, tech support, I would, that'd be my suspicion too. Oh, you see Mayo Clinic fired 700 people. 1% of their workforce. Mayo Clinic can't shit can 700 people for being unvaccinated. Hey, Rad. I got your DM, Rad. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll, um, oh, it's been a weird stream. We've just had a bunch of idiots. Um, eighth. Let's see, the 8th of U.S. What is that? That's this Saturday? 11 a.m. Eastern, which would be 2 p.m. my time. Oh, yeah, there's no way I'm making that. Um... Yeah. Thanks for the invite, though, Rad, as always. Oh, 11 a.m. Australia. Okay, wait. I need to do the conversion on that. Four p.m. Still a little early. We'll see. If you got an empty seat and I'm awake, I'll I'll hit you up, Rad. I'll, if I'm if I'm awake and kicking at that time, and I'll I'll check out your stream and see if you've got a, a if you've get a you got a seat available, and we'll go from there. We'll play it by ear on that one. <laughs> Australia is like the night shift of a spaceship. Um. Cool, cool, Brad. And gracias. Gracias, mi amigo. Gracias. Cat, which is the random fucking take. Um, oh. Well, you know, it's not too terrible today. I might get an upper body in. I might get an upper body in. I don't know if I'm be able to do a leg workout though. My fucking legs are burned. Jesus Christ. Um, Chupac was a ballerina. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, cat. I uh, I tried some of the others. Uh, I sampled some of the other stuff. Um. I forget what which one of the jars. The the more hippie-ish looking of the, the two jars. 
uh, that that was the good. That's the good shit. Um, yeah, super super sold on that one. Had me nice and actual like stony and giggly for. Uh, it took a. I, I smoked a lot last night actually. Uh, but early AM, I was actually a little giggly. So. Oh, interesting. I mean, wouldn't it be? Wasn't he a ballet dancer, not a ballerina? <laughs> Isn't ballerina the 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 feminine form uh, form of that? Yeah, cat. Um. <laughs> Some of the memes, viscous uh, fucking posts. Bellarino. There we go. Look, is it? Yeah, there's got to be a masculine form. <laughs> Could you wait? What? <laughs> All the vegetarian tortellini were gone in the grocery store. Why am I trying this vegetarian stuff again? Because you like your colon. Ah, fuck your colon. Kaiser. <laughs> Tupac would kick the shit out of you for that. He was of a highly masculine subculture. Tupac would not be happy with that statement. That would be an insult to him. He would interpret that as an insult. Yeah. Tupac would not be happy with that comment. Um, yeah. I would prefer those particular details not get shared via text. Cat and Karina. Um, if you want to talk about it, feel free to talk about it. Um, but I would prefer if you abstract it, leave my name out of it sort of situation. So at least there's some legal, plausible deniability somewhere along the way. Um, <laughs> you wonder why they call you bitch. Oh, Tupac. Anyway, Wither, were you not here for the fucking Food Not Bombs thing? Dude, we just did it like seven or ten minutes ago. We just read some amazing news. Sorry, that's on you. Um, yeah, some amazingly positive news. First, first rule of success is showing up. Well then, yeah, I had some done. Um, oh, nice. Taiwan's investing two hundred million into Lithuania to offset Beijing's sanctions against Lithuania. Nice. Yeah, uh, Lithuania, um, Lithuania got hit with economic sanctions from China after uh, they opened up a, oh, hey, Level, thanks. Thank you kindly, Level, to tech support, who's been giving out gift subs as well. Um, fucking um, Lithuania um, fucking uh, opened a Taiwanese uh, uh, office. Um, they allowed the, uh, the fucking Taiwanese in as like an, uh, an embassy. And so the Ch Chinese are all pissed off about it. So Taiwan was like, Hey, we know they're hitting you with economic sanctions. So here's 200 million to make it worth your while. Yeah. So good on him. Good on him. 
Oh, God, no. We don't have a... Re- uh, that was... Melody, that person was removed from community very several months ago. Um, the only redeeming quality that person had um, went away. They started being a little drama bitch. Um, and thought they they started dis, uh, they started exhibiting symptoms of ma- main character syndrome. Um, so we had to remove them. So no worries. Imagine Taiwanese tours in Slovenia. Hey, fucking, let's do it. I don't know what that, what you, what a leftist, what kind of leftist economist, Ben? I mean, as long as you don't think you're a leftist and you're an ANCAP at the same time, then you will get along fine. Um, No, I don't trust tankies. Um, I never will. I will never trust MLs. I never will. Um, Just because I understand the history of Marxist-Leninist relations with anarchists. Um, I don't want a bullet in the back of the head. I don't want to be rounded up and fucking executed. So I don't trust them. Um, sorry. They, they turn on us in on a dime. They always do. So that is an issue. It's just the way it's going to be. And caps attempt to fuck up anarchist spaces by bringing their capitalist, uh, apologia in. Um, so that's out. Um, but other than that, by all means. Oh, and landlords. Fuck landlords. study of the 15,000 uh, uh, 15,018 use of force incidents by the San Diego Police Department involving nearly 12,000 people over two years Jesus Christ 15,018 use of force incidents by the San Diego Police in two years alone uh, it showed that black people who comprise 6% of the city's population made up 23% of those who were subject to police force Um, Statistical analysis provided by Accountability Now, publicly accessible database uh, on police use force. Um, Leadership Conference on Civil Human Rights. um, In the belief that such a database could show the public just how uh, common use of force is and lead to, oh God, better training. Um, Backs up the findings of a June study by the Center for Policing uh, Equity. Nice to see somebody saying equity instead of equality for once. That found black people were nearly five times more likely to be subject to police violence than white people in San Diego, even after factoring in variables such as poverty, crime rates, and neighborhood characteristics. When racial disparities are present, even when the influence of neighborhood level factors is removed from the equation, it suggests officer behavior or departmental policy or practices and are likely to be playing a role, the study explained. Uh, Let me see the study. Uh, the study will also be in shared content. All right. (sighs) 
Ah, uh, you're fine, Big Ben. We've got um, we got Swede, who's like uh, dual uh, dual economics and finance degrees, and in Anson, and he, um, dude, he's working towards like some insane PhD economics work. Um, but yeah, no, no worries, Ben. I'm just hostile towards fucking ANCAPs and MLs. Um, because I hate getting and caps try to invade anarchist spaces and MLs, um, can't be trusted because they put a gun to the fucking anarchist heads too regularly throughout history. So that's, that's, that's my issue. It's already in shared content cupcake. I just said the study is in shared content. <laughs> God damn it. Um, it's, it's, it's sitting in there. Um, also, do not like Mises. All right, cool. Well, you're cool with me then, Ben. <laughs> Hayek and Mises. Um, fucking Hayek and Mises, man. Fucking the Austrian school. Um, Schumpeter is the only Austrian worth a, worth a damn. Um, that's that's the shibboleth uh, for uh, uh, economists, Ben. Like, how do you feel about Austrian economics? <laughs> <laughs> Hoppe is a douche. Hoppe is a fucking unironic fascist white supremacist. That motherfucker advocates for ethno white ethno states and fascists. Uh, <laughs> shrimp Peter? <laughs> fucking yes, exactly. Uh... So. Yeah, and uh, Ben and Swede, if you guys want to have like a weird side side panel, uh, econ uh, like economist side panel and talk to each other, you know, I, I don't know what it, what happens when you put two economists in a room together, whether it's a fight or fuck situation, I don't know, um, but either way, you're both in that field, so, you know. Why not both? I mean, hey. Yep, fucking Astral and Viva both. Fucking German. Uh, fuck it. Yeah, Astral, <laughs> Astral and Viva both went for... What about... Por que no los dos? Uh, uh, Weasel, it has been... A bunch of stream radio stuff. I can give you a link to the playlist. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, the last one was this one. Um, so I'll... There we go. Um, Weasel, I'll link in chat to the playlist and the specific song that was probably uh, playing when you were thinking, like, hey, I want to get this music. So... Yeah, sweet. It happens. Uh, <laughs> enemies to lovers economy story. It's foreplay. MLs. We have to defend the revolution from counter-revolutionary forces. Us. Yeah, like vanguardist Bolsheviks who take power away from worker councils. <laughs> uh, dude, rad. My favorite one to bring up is always Kronstadt. A bunch of fucking workers are like, hey, can we be in charge of our own labor and benefit from our labor? And the fucking Russians round them up. The fucking Soviets round them up and execute them in mass. Two thousand, basically, right in the uh, in the in the woods outside of uh, town. Yeah, that's what happens. Fucking, we're for the workers. Well, we as the workers would like to be empowered. Two thousand of them dead. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Dude, Ben. My, my, my deal with the, uh, the, um, no, God, no, I'm an anarchist. 
Um, the my deal with the the Austrian economists, Ben, is the, my beginning, middle, and end of the conversation for me starts. It starts. It, uh, it begins. Starts and like ends with. Um, they don't believe in empiricism. Dude, like that, that for me is like the end of the conversation for, for Austrian economists is they don't believe in empiricism. Only theory can debunk theory. There's no amount of real world data that you can produce that will ever like I, I that that alone, like that's the end of the conversation. Like we all stop there. Like When Galileo is too high tech. <laughs> uh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, let's see. All right. Hang on. Sorry. I stopped fucking paying attention. <laughs> Um, what do you mean by empiricism? I mean the opposite of a priori reason, uh, a priori reasoning. Um, so po uh, posteriori uh, re uh, knowledge, um, the 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 justification uh, or knowledge of uh, e or evidentiary knowledge derived from sensory input, right? Like this is, yeah. They support personal choice because their ideology shields them from the fact that humanity has collective problems that require collective action. Rational thinking supports personal choice when it pertains to individual issues, not society at large. Fair enough. Um, oh, 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 I don't want that one. Um, do that. <coughs> oh, sorry. Red, um... Yeah, well, no, I mean, it works for me fucking too, sweet. Um, uh, basically, uh, no one's wearing surgical masks. Um, basically, every place that hands out masks in Las Vegas uses surgical masks to hand out. Not kidding. Um, my private training gym, the cannabis dispensary, doctor's offices, we hand them out like nothing. So, yeah. They're not difficult to get now. The fucking supply lines picked up on them. So, anyway. Dude, nonsense. We're almost already at that point of doing surgeries while fucking waiting in line. D um, Massachusetts has run out of ICU beds. There's, yeah. So, we. All right, let me close the uh, all the fucking religious shit. Oh. Oh yeah, Rad. We're dude. We're we're putting up numbers, Rad. We're putting up numbers right now. Fucking record numbers. Florida hit record numbers. I think Texas hit uh, record numbers. No. See, here's... Okay. Here's what... Here's what Genius McGee over here is fucking not talking about. Um... 
because we're shitty. Um, the study that he's the study the the statistics that he's citing about how they don't work. The reason they don't work is because they don't work on the inhale; they work on the exhale. So what they're saying is, is if there is an Omicron particle floating, if there's a a, a, a a particle that contains Omicron variant on it floating in the wind and you inhale, there is potential to inhale it through your mask. Here's what he's not saying, is that if their diseased fucking ass were wearing the cloth mask, then that particle would likely not be in the air to start with. See, the cloth mask works mostly on exhale. It doesn't work that well on inhale. So if the disease typhoid Mary ridden motherfuckers actually wore their fucking masks, then it would work. But they only work to an extent collectively. And these hyper individualist dickheads don't don't do that. So yeah. Uh, nonsense, I know. How many fucking times do we have to explain the mask is not for you, it's for other people? I don't understand how many times we have to explain this, but these dense motherfuckers don't apparently understand that one. <laughs> Oof, rad. Yeah, no, it's endemic. It's endemic at this point. It's literally endemic. There's nothing we can do about it because these dumb Fucks across the board. China denied it existed. Our fucking president didn't react. Our fucking nation is filled with dumbass science denying morons who continually ignore the best advice that we can give them. Oh, the advice changed. Yeah, advice changes, motherfucker. Science changes. Medical updates change. Jesus, goddamn Christ. Ah. Uh. Fucking a. Like, how many times we have to go through this? Oh, and that's what you're what about? You're going to what about with a fucking Biden with an anarchist? Fuck Biden, too. Fuck Biden. Fuck, tr fuck Trump. Fuck Obama. Fuck Bush. Fuck all of them. You fucking, you're going to what about with an anarchist? Well, what about Biden? Yeah, what about Biden? He's a piece of shit, too. Jesus Christ, you're dumb as stick. Don't think you're on my team suddenly. Yeah, fuck my all of them. Amen. Get your fucking science denying dumb ass out of here and fucking wear a mask, you piece of shit typhoid Mary spreading motherfucker. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, nobody's fucking on your side or on your team on this one. Jesus Christ. You're literally the one who fucking what abouted with fucking Biden. What now, bitch? What now? He literally said, nah, fuck you, lol, shaking my damn head. Uh, what now, bitch? What? What fucking? Aren't you going to talk now? Oh, snap. Oh, shit. It doesn't work that way, huh? You're basically like on my private property right now, right? That's what y'all believe in is private property rights, right? How's that abuse of authority and power work for you? It's pretty, it's pretty interesting, huh? You're just sitting there fucking muted. You can't do shit now. Oh, interesting. Hey, Puka. Wouldn't stop making the dumbest anti-mask arguments, too, because he's fucking dumb. Watch this. I'm going to un unban him, too. I just wanted to prove a point. I just want to prove a point. Like, welcome to the reality of the situation. Like, occasionally somebody needs to go full sternerist up on their ass. Right? Like, you are an ex... You are a real threat to other people's health. Fuck you.
Oh, Betty farts in elevators. I don't know if that's a meme or you're just that dumb, Caboose. I sorry, I deal with stupid people on a regular basis, Caboose. I, and and Caboose Georgia, not our Caboose. I don't know if you're just memeing. Um, I, it's it's difficult for me to tell anymore at this point. But Johann Schmidt was it's a popular meme. Okay, thank you. I'm like Johann Schmidt was very much a real person, aka Max Turner. But yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Caboose. Yeah, like our Caboose. I bet he puts margarine on his bread. <laughs> it's the worst insult I've heard in a while. I know, right, Akka? Um. Jesus Christ. There we go. Let me explain. Children, sit down, gather around, read, learn, listen. Fucking it. Let me explain. If you walk around nude and someone pees on you, you get wet. If you wear pants and someone pees on you, you're partially protected. If the guy peeing also wears pants, he pees in his pants and you don't get wet. Do you understand the principle? Yo, Schmidt, I know that dude. Like how? I don't understand how many times we have to explain. Fight. <laughs> oh. Um. Well. Uh. Here, if anybody wants the graphic, it, like the actual. Uh, the, gra uh, the actual image will be in shared content on the Discord server. So if you need to copy and send it or do whatever you need to do with it, it'll be around. Dude, margarine is the devil's work. Margarine is just, oh yeah, I saw Rev. I saw him endorsing private property. Like, what do you expect? He's never read fucking Proudhon. He's never, he's never analyzed that sort of thing. Yeah, like, fucking, at this point, like, what do you, hey, did you hear the stupid person is making stupid comments? Really? Wow. Shocking. Anyway. <laughs> uh, everybody see the uh, the California superintendent now facing death threats? Fucking this, this shit is just like absolute hellhole. Um, where was this? It was Wheatland Union High School. Uh, superintendent Nicole Newman. She's facing death threats because she investigated students that were like wearing swastikas and Nazis uh, and Nazi symbols around. Eight students, thick black swastikas and various other Nazi symbol uh, symbols uh, 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 painted on their torsos in her fucking schools. And she, she launched an investigation to figure out what the fuck is going on. Oh, yeah. She, um, also, by the way, they were also fucking, like, holding beers and shit like that, too. Like, what the fuck? Um, like, what is going on in this school? But she started investigating it, and she's literally been receiving death threats from, like, neo-Nazis on a daily basis now. <laughs> um... Of course, he doesn't understand the difference. Um, uh, it was in um, Wheatland Union High School. I don't know where the fuck that actually is, though. I think it's in Wheatland. Um, it's in Wheatland, California. Uh, let me try and figure out where the fuck this place is, though. 
It is, it's a small town based on where it is. Uh, it's northeast of Sacramento. So it's, it's, it's NorCal. It's NorCal. Um, Jesus rad. Oh, I fucking hate DeBoer. Tadpole, it has nothing to do with... Okay, so I have that reaction every time. I hate DeBoer's writing style. Something about DeBoer's writing style irritates the ever-loving fuck out of me, Tadpole. Um, I don't really have any opinions on situation, situationalism. Um, no, the kids haven't been expelled. Um, I don't really have any opinions on situationalism, to be perfectly honest. Um, but the fact that if something something about DeBoer's writing style has always irritated me. I think society uh, 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 society of the spectacle is a insightful analysis. I think it's pre uh, prescient in many uh, aspects of its analysis. Um, I just can't stand DeBoer. <laughs> so that's that's that's, rea that's that reaction. I, yes. Yeah, it was 1%, sweet. It was 1% of their, their personnel. 700 people. Yeah, we talked about it earlier. Um, yeah. So. Uh. Taiwan's just trolling fucking China now. This is amazing. Taiwan apparently there was 20,000 bottles of Lithuanian rum destined for China, but China started fucking around with the import exports to try and like dick Lithuania over since they allowed Taiwan to open a de facto embassy there. And Taiwan's T tobacco and liquor corp immediately said, we'll purchase all 20,000 bottles. <laughs> Taiwan's just fucking with China via Lithuania now. That's hilarious. Fucking. Yep. It's like, well, we're not going to buy your 20,000 bottles of rum if you don't uh, if you don't shut down the uh, the embassy for Taiwan. And Taiwan's like, we'll buy it. What's up? <laughs> uh Oh, let me guess, they were black. Afternoon in honor of Stanley Davis. Got a picture? Yeah, he was black. 13 year old Stanley Davis III received a dirt bike for Christmas. The very next day, Boynton Beach PD involved him in a high speed pursuit that ended in a fatal crash. Same officer was involved in other high speed chases, resulting in death. Who would have guessed? Uh, is there anything that the cops can't make worse? Whatever, it's all part of Greater Korea. This is Geyser. No, I really can't think of anything that the cops can't make worse. It just, I really can't. Their presence ruins everything. It's amazing. It's amazing how bad that like their presence can make everything. Huh. Um. Anybody I, I know and like. Yeah, all right, that one. Cool. I 
I don't know what an Enrakist is. It sounds very alien. Is that like, uh, it's like a spider person? I mean, like, I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of spider bro, right? Like I, I'm, I'm a big fan of spiders. So, um, I'm going to go with capitalist for sure. <laughs> it's a Nunrakist. Oh God. And an in Anraki is a is a government run by the spiders. Oh. Effective communication skills. Um <laughs> Don't be dumb, said the guy who can't spell. Um so an anti-narcissist sounds based. Um, well, seeing as the body count for capitalism is racked up in the millions per year, uh, and the body count for anarchists throughout all of history is minute at best, um, I'm going to go with capitalists are by far worse. Big fan for spiders. I dub thee an honorary Australian. I will be collecting my Australian honors. Um, dude, big fan of Australia, actually. Honestly, Rad, I, I have a soft spot for Australians. Every time I've ever been traveling abroad, and I'm like, whenever I've found myself in a really cool spot, right? Like I'm, I'm in the fucking Caribbean or some shit. I'm hanging out and I'm, I'm, I'm just chilling with like a, a sangria and a joint and I'm fucking vibing. All of a sudden in the distance, I hear an Australian accent. Wherever the best places are you can always find an aussie it, you guys have really really good taste in locations so i i mad respect for the aussies that that uh, yeah cool people but i mean you know yeah the terrifying government but i mean you know yeah legitimately some of the best places i've ever been you hear an aussie accent you're like of course they're here you guys are really good travelers i i i say that i say that with the utmost respect, I, I hate tourists. I hate tourists, but travelers, travelers are amazing. And you guys are some of the best travelers. Um, you you guys are basically welcome everywhere. Everybody's happy to see you. It's fucking, it's great. Yeah. I have nothing but the utmost respect for the Aussies as a people, of course, <laughs> you guys, you guys are always the harbingers of a very fun time. You hear an Australian accent off in the distance, especially if you're... Good night, weasel. Take care. Uh, you hear an Australian accent off in the distance, especially if you're on a beach, you know you're, you're about to have a really good time. Yeah. Nothing but love, my man. Aka, everything in Australia is designed to kill you? I live in Nevada. Dude, everything here will fucking kill you too. <clears throat> Before it robs you blind. But, uh, or after it robs you blind, sorry. Or before sometimes um dude i'm used to like the desert trying to kill me constantly i'm used to my environment trying to kill me constantly i'm used to the most deadly snakes on our continent constantly right like australia and i can vibe it's no big deal yeah right like the last time they, they had somebody die from a snake bite or a spider bite was ages ago um, the most common way of dying in Australia from like a spider is when it falls out of your fucking visor in your car at speed and you f crash into something else. That's, that's the, the, that's how people die from spiders in Australia. They don't fucking die from spider bites. Australia's had like anti-venom, um, production down for ages now. They got that shit handled. Yeah. No big deal. I mean, we have mountain lions, we have coyotes, we have wolves, we have, um, we don't have really bears. Um, we have lynx in portions of our, our state as well, some of the higher areas. Um, and we have stray dogs, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> GL, they have health bars. 
Oh, they have health bars. It's like comparing how many people in the Bible God killed versus the devil. It's like three to 300 million. Um... Was this idiot still on about the, the French Revolution? Holy shit. You do, do you really? Do you know anything about the French Revolution? Like, I mean, clearly you don't. Uh, stab, stab wound bear. Uh, greeted, hello from England, how's America? What do you think? Stab wound, how do you think it is, man? <laughs> how do you think it is? <laughs> it's a nightmare hellscape uh, with a thin coat of veneer on top of it. Um, how's, um, How's it doing uh, in England? Fair enough. Um, Yeah, I love I love the fucking this is genius. England is pensive at the moment. Um <laughs> Yeah. Um what was what were the politics of the uh, French revolutionaries? Please explain the pol uh explain the uh, politics of the French revolutionaries to me. Um Oh, rat home. I'm uh, rat. I'm not wearing a skirt. I'll get you your points back though. No worries. Um, explain to me the political positions of the French revolutionaries. That that'll be great. I I could use a good laugh. Oh, I'll wait too, by the way. Zero, put them in a folder and just hang on to them for another day. <laughs> That's what you do with that sort of thing. Um... That is the dumbest statement I've heard in a while. The only government that won't fail on the planet is diplomacy. Diplomacy's failed lots. Now he's just saying random things. Try all you want, you guys' heads will be cut off. Manifest destiny. I was just just saying random shit. Manifest destiny. Fall of the best deal. No, that's that's too. Like, sounds like a typical Warframe player. Fucking a. You still don't know anything about the French Revolution, though, do you? He's trying a brute force attack. <laughs> um. I think Warframe had a stroke. 
I think the Warframe had a stroke. I think we're dealing with some like, some serious def uh, deficiencies here. Oh, electoral College! <laughs> you anarcho-communist Nazi fascist concentration locker generals! Um, so they were French and they basically didn't want cake? Potatoes! Puka. Puka with the right amount of random on it. Puka with the right amount of random on it. Just potatoes! Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, good night, Swede. Good luck. Oh, it is amazing the level of ignorance we've witnessed on tonight's stream. Honestly, it's been impressive. Now, <laughs> damn, now I'm hungry for potatoes. Um, <sighs> wow. Excuse me, I must row my raft through the desert. Hopefully I don't lose a pizza. Lose a pizza. Uh, I hadn't brought a spare. Cake or death? Cake? Well, we're all out of cake. We didn't expect such a rush on it. So my choices are de or death? <laughs> Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, right there. That tendon. That fucking tendon. <gasps> Sweet. Dude, that is my favorite. favorite uh, well, it's the monkey, uh, the car, bu car battery and the monkey. And if it weren't for my horse. Dude, this is my favorite fucking uh, Lewis Black routine. Deep cut, Swede. Deep cut. If it weren't for my horse, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have finished that year in college. Um, if it weren't for my horse, if it weren't for my horse, if it weren't for my horse, and that's how you have a stroke. That's how you have an aneurysm in the bath. Um, uh, oh, uh, Caboose. It's basically a Lewis Black aside, um, where he says, "Look, if hooking a monkey up to a car battery will help cure cancer, I got two things to say to you." Red's positive and black's negative. Yeah. Still waiting on that explanation of the French Revolution from Warframe, though. Um, I, I can't wait for that deeper insight into the political uh, eccentricities and nuances of the, fr uh, of the French Revolution. It's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. And the best way to ruin a protest is to join it badly. It's Lot and his daughters, not Lot and his sons. And Satanism, worshiping the lesser evil. Who killed more people than the Bible? Fucking 2,038,344 uh, 38, for God, Satan? 10. Oh, the Habsburgs. Oh, Habsburgs. <laughs> yeah, must keep, must head on. We have to fucking do it. I know we have to keep the uh, uh, the Habsburgs. Oh, we have to keep the bloodline pure, everyone. Hang on, hang on. It's 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 all about that pure ge pure uh, master race genetics, right? Like, for sure, you gotta keep that, gotta keep that fucking uh, that bloodline pure. I, you know, what would you do? What would you do if this fucking <laughs> if this motherfucker here lost the so <laughs> amazing superior genetic lineage that he is descended from? <laughs> Yeah.
Yep. Keep the best genes in the family. Ooh, baby. Look at that master race right there. Behold the master race, baby. Fucking, that's some sexy look. Yeah, some sexy look right there. Fucking Habsburgs. <laughs> just, just, a, just a fucked up family. <laughs> I mean, look at this mother. Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> it is. It's one of the more forgiving paintings of him. <laughs> oh, purebred fucking. <laughs> the rugged jawline. The full and voluptuous lips. Exactly. Oh, fucking A. Habsburgs. Here's, here's, here's a, here's a, here's another painting of him. A less forgiving painting. Here's another painting. He was, he was fucked up. He, he was, he was, he was, he was fucked up. Right. This what this is what happens. It's what happens when you get that purebred shit going on. Thanks for the follow, Strata. Uh How do you not know that the Queen of England is German? And how do you not know that the Habsburgs are German as well? You do realize, like, <laughs> they're a Germanic dynasty based out of the House of Austria, right? Like, they're one of the most prominent, like, they're one of the most famous royal family, royal houses of Europe. Like, how do you not know this shit? Like, do they just not, like, teach you basic stuff? The, ga <laughs> the gall of some people. Nice himself. Uh, GL was Nick Nolte's mugshot. Yeah, good call. <laughs> Ger Germany. Fuck you, nah, uh, Viva. Nah, we don't claim these people. Let's just say they're Austrian. <laughs> Let's just go with that. Still waiting on that lesson. Um, still waiting on that history lesson vis-a-vis uh, -vis the political uh, political aspirations or the political alliances and leanings of the French Revolutionary. Um, still waiting on that, by the way, Warframe. I'm, I'm sure it's coming. I'm sure you're typing an amazing dissertation. Your thesis will be just insightful and pre uh, prescient. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting with bated breath. I cannot, I cannot wait to see this, this absolute analysis of the French Revolution that will indicate that the uh, anti-monarchists were anarchists. It's coming, right? It's coming. Still waiting on it. Anyway, um, <laughs> still waiting. <laughs> It's coming, right? I, 
All right, fuck capitalism, right? Like, I mean, fuck capitalism, but fuck capitalism. Hang on, you're gonna see some shit. Are you ready? All right. Y'all are, y'all are gonna fucking. <clears throat> Y'all ready? Y'all ready? It is worker high-vis jacket as high fashion for 2,890 pounds, VAT included. Is that the German decimal? Is it 2.890 euros? Yeah, at least the tax is included. Uh, I saw that tadpole. Um, like I said, it's it's just a writing style issue. I don't I don't have an issue with fucking DeBoer's analysis. Uh, it's just I just hate fucking reading him. That's all. Uh. I. I hate life. Yeah, zippy. For sure. For sure, zippy. I think on that note... Yeah, I think on that note. I think we're going to leave... I think we're going to leave on the note of the 3,000-pound uh, high-vis jacket. I, I think we'll we'll go out on a high note for capitalism. It's definitely a high watermark for creativity um, and diversity of choice within the marketplace, for sure, for sure. I, I think that that's where we'll we'll leave it uh, today. Um, I'm gonna jump into VC. I'll hang out for a bit. I got exercises and shit to do. Um, I got like I need to put another protein shake in me and then fucking blah blah blah. Um, but I'll probably be doing some like weightlifting and stuff like that. Um, so if you guys want to hang out, by all means, hang out. I'll be in VC afterwards. Um, so yeah, yeah, 2000, uh, 3000 fucking pounds for a high vis jacket. Capitalism. It's quite the innovator, isn't it? I don't know what we do without it. I mean, what would we do? Uh, I, I, yeah. I mean, Market might collapse without a three thousand dollar high fashion, high visibility jacket. I don't know what we would do without it. Either way, uh, we're gonna raid over to Squiddy, um, and we'll go from there. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday, so late night stream tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>